We live? Are we live? Woo! We're back! The camera's so far away. We're back! In the saddle it again! Is, it is back. It is far. He's squinting at it. Is it that far back? Squinting Tarantino all day. Yeah, I can't see she. Squinting Tarantino. Yes. Will he be the first uh, character for the new Palcast uh, character series? Oh, is a Palcast character series? Why not? <laughs> squinting Tarantino. <laughs> Good one. What, doesn't he always squint? He's... He looks like he has no teeth, what? doesn't he? <laughs> really? he kind of does. You did the face. When I picture him, I got no, no, it. He does look like he took his dentures like out. Like his dentures, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, you know, there's always been something to his face. Like it look, He looks like mm. a rotten tomato face. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's a, that's a rotten tomato face. The fucking, no, yeah, like he's got an underbite with no top teeth. Yeah. So we're just going to call that a squinting? <laughs> a squinting? A squinting. A squinting Tarantino's. What are we calling that? Me squinting at something? No, no, like people that do that with the no dentures. Well, I guess if you see more than him doing it, sure, call it a squinting. <laughs> if you like. Squinting? The best part was you did that before you could spit out why you were doing that. I had to do it to see it in my head. <laughs> right when you did it, I knew what you were doing. That was I looked just part. like him, right? Yeah. Well, holy shit, here we are. We're back in effect. We missed last week and we didn't make it up. So what we didn't make it up. It? I mean, we tried to, but mm-hmm. we just weren't physically able to last week. What can you do? You know? But you know what? They got double the Twitch last week. They got one on Monday, and they got one on Friday. And I did Sunday with Clay. You did? Yeah. Some call that a Father's Day extraordinaire. Father's Day follies. No. Father's... Did you guys play some Star Wars? Did you guys play some Star Wars? We played like a half-hour battle for it. We were just blabbing our fucking asses off. I tuned in for a minute. There was... I caught like in the middle of a story, you are talking about somebody using a kick in the nuts. Oh, yeah. And I I was like, fuck, I wish I would have heard the beginning, because it sounded like it was getting good at that point. Oh, yeah. But... <laughs> you know, you can go catch that rebroadcast. I'm not yes, going to retell the story. No, it was really weird, though, because I found out via text live on the air from my brother Mike mm-hmm. <laughs> through a screenshot that he took from my stepniece's, I just always call it my niece, mm-hmm. is uh, fucking Facebook that my stepbrother had died. It was just his, like, cr- his fucking urn on, like, their. Fireplace or whatever. So I was telling a story about he just. Oh, so he didn't up. just recently die. He's been dead. I thought it, I didn't know when it was from. So I went back and looked at it again and zoomed in. And I, you know, I've actually done this on like magazines and like printed paper. Went like this on it, trying to zoom it in before. <laughs> I've done it's that. It's habit, man. Have you I, ever done I it? I swear I probably have. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm not making fun of it because I, I really think I have. So. But anyhow, so yeah. I, and then I saw it was like from like three days previous or some shit. I was like, oh, that didn't mean he died three days previous because they don't no, cremate you the no. day you died. They got to. See why you died and all that shit. Yeah. My guess is it's probably something either like heart or liver related, which would be like kind of linked to like alcoholism or drugs, perhaps. Right. Know? So he was around your age, that brother? No, he was he was about he was I don't know, maybe like eight, nine years older. Oh, okay. He was like in his mid twenties when I was like about ten years older, probably. Gotcha. Somewhere well, around uh, eight, con- ten years. Condolences. Like that. Condolences. Well, thanks. Yes, yes. I, no that problem. one I will take uh, thoughts yeah. and prayers for. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. I will accept thoughts and prayers. Yeah. Those are just viable. Yes. Yeah, send one. them in the chat. That, that, that okay. is a viable thing to send. Thanks for the word viable. I just totally <laughs> took it from you. Um, fuck, what else? I know. I got a. I saw your picture of you and Johnny Fever on Sunday. <laughs> oh, me and Pops, dude. Yeah. yeah. Had a little Father's Day barbecue here, man. Fucking. What did you guys cook? Steaks. Ooh. Yeah, we cook some steaks, a little corn on the cob. A little kids now. I got a good little uh, method I like to do, man, where you fucking butter the corn, yeah. put that fucking salt, roll it, a little garlic salt, roll it up in tinfoil, squeeze it real hard so you can see them little corn kernels through the tinfoil, yeah. put them bitches on the top rack of the barbecue, dude. Let them bitches slow cook. You know, for some reason, I never cook corn on the cob on the grill, ever. Dude, it's a game changer. I know. I fucking love it like that. I don't know why I never do. I'll cook you some corn. Some, uh, some what are we food. ordering? We just said we're oh, ordering yeah, some food. food. We got guys, uh, and, and so sugar, here's bro. we're we're in a dilemma here at the Palcast right now. <laughs> we're at a dilemma because we don't know what to eat, and I thought maybe the chat could help us with this. <laughs> well, okay. we, uh, we we don't want you pizza. Pizza's you can out decide what we ASMR into the mic. We don't want pizza. We already looked up. I had I had a calzone earlier. I had calzone earlier. Right. The, the, I don't want pizza anyway. I'll be the, I'm up. too picky to fucking order on mm. fucking DoorDash for right. Thai food because you can't specify. I just went over this the other day. I'll be a picky fucking sucks dick. So, not the restaurant, but 
Let's say what burgers? We don't have Waffle Houses in, in Michigan. No. I'd fucking totally ride I would for some. Love fucking... Waffle House. Well, I we love some Waffle House. Let's get some Coney. You got a Coney around here? Oh, I'll do a little Coney, a little diner. Let me see if there's. Yeah, we'll see if there's a little Coney boy. Yeah. Little Coney Island way. Hey, you remember on uh, on uh, 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 the Ogre and the Wizard episode of Shaggy and the Creep when the wizard ate a chili dog? With his mustache and beard on? I do. I do. <laughs> yep. You're going to do it again? You didn't even know where I was going I, with that until I said ate the chili dog. It took it. me, yeah, to, uh, until then I was thinking, I don't know why, the COVID games, but that's when we introduced those characters. Yes. But, yeah, no, when we went to the Renaissance. Yes. Where you see the finest of people. Yes. Oh, God. Just the, the greatest <laughs> walks of earth you could ever imagine you'll find at the Renaissance. Why, why you, I didn't think the people were so low class. They're just... Some fuck, of them are. Oh, yeah, because Some it's, of them it's are. a gathering of fucking right. weirdos. That's why. <laughs> I fucking go to it every year. Look, man, there's some people that... Did, Take their families to have fun. They get it. Look, and there's man, some people that live at that motherfucker. Right. And I just want to say, man, if 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 you are watching this and you're like a newer viewer or you just somehow don't know that we also put out vlogs, you got to check out that fucking Renaissance Vera vlog. We fucking accidentally crashed the fucking wedding dressed like two assholes. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't even know how it happened. Somebody invited us in. Somebody told us to get the fuck out. We were on a scavenger hunt that they put us on. That they we, said go to the castle. That's right. That was the biggest fucking castle. That's right. We even went there because they made so us So I don't there. feel like we did anything wrong. We were wrong. set up from the get. Somebody was yanking our chains. New vlogs, huh? Wait, let's, hold on. Food. Yeah, food. Then what we do you can guys talk want? About. We got uh, a Coney Island somewhere, and maybe a Kirby's. Kirby, Kirby's, Leo's, Leo's, America. I don't give a Leo's is good. Leo's is good. I know Leo's runs the suburbs. Yeah. Leo, Leo's and Kirby's seem to be the top dogs. Oh, yeah, they're on the burbs. Uh-huh. What do you want from Leo's? Man, I want uh 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 shit. I want a fucking chili dog with just chili on it. Fuck being picky. I'm about to go for breakfast food. If you can see if you can do that. No, oh, they gotta have that. Just a straight up chili dog. No, yeah, but this always comes with, with no mustard onion. and onions. Yeah, I don't like onions. I don't you don't like, like that little, little it's just a little line no, of mustard. Can't just do little... it. No, sir. Otherwise I wouldn't say no mustard. Then I'd be like, hey, put the little line on that. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> You know what you do? You take your your chili and you you swish it over the top. You swish it over the top and you don't even see the muscle. I feel like I'm kind of being like jerky a little bit right now, am I? Thank you. I don't think like I, I think stern. you've been, I think you've been way worse in the past. But like a little stern, like I'm just like. Eh. I'll be honest, I, I don't feel it today. I'd be the first. Good, to tell good. You that. I yeah. feel like I'm being like that. I gotta pep my step up. What do you got? What is he showing you? Well, a menu. Oh, well, you know, we'll just all just we just all thumb them. Can can you get it with just chili? I don't know. He, Josh said, fuck that. He's got a show to run. We're live. Well, dude. who's fucking ordering food then? We all are. We're passing this bitch around like a fucking <laughs> bar skank, dude. A- oh, after wow. hours. Why'd you ask me what I'm getting then? I did. I couldn't find it. So you, that, thank you. So I said, did you find it? Okay, you now you're know. being jerky. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please look for a hot dog with just chili on it? Because I know I won't be able to find it if it's on there. When the rest I can take care of. I just dog. want some breakfast food. There's with a that. lot of breakfast foods. Man. I know. I just Gosh, want some eggs damn, and bacon I'm still and shit, trolling. Man. It's all breakfast. Hmm. Oh, we literally have the breakfast tab. The we got to go to the main menu. Guys, that's what the problem was. Oh. It was on the breakfast menu. Well, I guess guys. I know what Manny was getting and Josh was getting breakfast. Did you guys already order? No. Oh. Okay. oh. There he is. Being jerky is. again. Mm-hmm. Our yeah. fingers are too big to order. Hey, did you know that there's a female equivalent of the name Josh? What is it? Like Jash. mine, of course, is Josephine or whatever. You know what I'm saying? What would Keegan's be? Keegalina. Uh, Keegalina. It's uh, it Jocelyn. It, it's a not, real shit. Oh, Jocelyn. I, it, yeah. Jocelyn. Or Jocelyn. No, Jocelyn. it's also Jocelyn. It's I also seen Jocelyn? Renee no has a book written by a chick author named Jocelyn something. Jocelyn Jackson, as a matter of fact. That sounds like someone that won Jocelyn that Jackson. Name. That sounds like a wrestling name. Uh, well, it's an author. It's probably a fake name. It has to be. It's probably like a pen Joshua name. Joshua Jackson. You don't think... That's too good of a name. You know name people now. write books, they got like pen names they Yeah, call they don't because they don't... They usually spill the tea in books and they don't want it coming right. back to them. But I'm just saying, you do have a female... You probably never knew that, did you, Jocelyn? It sounds like a made-up name. Uh, it isn't. I hate to cut... You the, can't make names up. They're proper nouns. What? I hate to cut the Jocelyn Josh part in short. <laughs> yeah. But uh, do you just want one Coney? Yeah. Because I'm going to get some breakfast food, too. Gotcha. Oh 
Right. What? I, and I'll take one the same exact way. Just, just with no chili. chili. Just, just chili. Yeah, we got, we're going to see who can eat their Coney dog fast. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Not on the carpet. Not on the, not carpet. On the carpet. I know Manny's a lot bigger than me, but I, I easily oh, get you'll roll for that man. motherfucker oh. down. I, I was, just because you're bigger than me. We should have had a bar ass Coney dog contest. I don't like to have food. Look, when I used to drink, I never had like drinking competitions or games because I just like to get fucked up. Fuck okay. playing games. When I eat, I don't play games. I like enjoying my food and getting full. Fuck playing games. All you know right. what I'm saying? I don't want to hate hot dogs because I'm having a hot dog. Get fucked up. Special that. note. <laughs> Gosh damn, shit be just mad expensive on Uber Eats. Like, so why don't you go to the fucking Grubhub? Oh, it's the same shit. It's all that delivery bullshit. But yeah. a normal Coney, you think it's like a like a dollar, dollar fifty. Well, right? Wednesdays usually I got like a two for like a dollar fifty special. Yeah, this is one Coney, nothing, no fries, pop, four dollars. Yeah. Doesn't that seem a little crazy? That's uh, arena prices. It is. Maybe there's a ball game going on. <laughs> Maybe. All check, right. Um, check, check, check the stats. See if there's a ball game going on in town <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> doesn't necessarily have to be the Tigers. It could be like a high school ball game. So you, uh, I'm going to put no mustard, no onion on both. Yes. Both of them. Ew, ew, ew. Don't mind me. You're going to have to care this for a second because I, I don't want to fuck this oh, up. Oh, I was going to tell you what else I wanted. But... Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right. Well, give me a <laughs> I second. I guess you're just handling my order now. Thank you. Um, both. That's what pals do. Look, man, I got you. Uh, all right, so two of them bitches, no mustard, no onion on both. All right, add that shit to the cart. Dude. What, we were about to order Mr. God, Beast. God, they don't even have a good-looking photo for their cone. Like, that's what you're selling this me? That's what you got on your plate for real. It's like someone look like. threw it on the plate that and then just kicked looked, it. No, that looks like a waitress brought it out and slid it right in front of you. That's how they fucking look. They don't pretty them up or nothing. Why? That, why Gus? I want them prettied get. up. Okay, fair okay, enough. What if they did the normal McDonald's? Would you get? They put that on their menu, man. It, it ain't right. Well, you know, it's you what do it a looks photo like. shoot with those burgers. You do. You put mashed potatoes for fucking uh, ice cream in them. You do. They do an yeah. airbrush shit like that. <clears throat> Before we were trying to get uh, Uber Eats earlier, Manny had uh, one. Why we brought up Mr. Beast? What? Red, oh yeah. Red. We brought up Mr. Beast, and then Manny was uh, told Josh, he was like, hey, what's that Chandler boy? Can we get some of that Chandler boy? <laughs> Dog, I didn't know what was going on. I was sitting there by myself. Said, around, I like, knew what the fuck he was talking about, because I got the Chandler I have before. A clue. <laughs> and I knew we were talking about ordering Mr. Beast, too. So that probably helped me out. Yeah, you guys didn't have no clue. <laughs> <coughs> oh, breathe it in, baby. Get, yeah. that, get that summer funk out. And First day of summer today. I thought it's been summer for like a month now. Everybody thinks that. What the fuck? And it goes to like fucking October too, right? Something crazy. Or September. September. Don't say it like that ever. Please. Okay. <laughs> All right. Unless you're deaf, then you can say it like that. Deaf uh, people can say September. <laughs> that's like how they say this shit, no? Because they can't hear themselves talk or whatever the fuck. So they don't know what the fuck's coming out their mouth. Uh, but yeah, we... we <laughs> can I just get down to what I was going to say? God damn it. <laughs> Because he had called it that Chandler boy, Mr. Beast Burgers. Yeah. He called that restaurant that Chandler boy. <laughs> <laughs> the other day. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's just funny. I know. Very a, lot, funny. a lot of Chandler boys in this. But, but listen, the other day, uh, I, I don't know where the fuck we were going. We were, maybe we were coming over here. Oh, we were like going to shoot a vlog. Something. I don't know. But but, but we were riding somewhere. And uh, we stopped at, at, at Burger King right quick to get some snacks. We were like, fuck, hungry, mm -hmm. hungry. And uh, I, I like that that um, that what is it, that chick king sandwich? You know what I'm saying? The the spicy boy, the crispy spicy okay. uh, burger chick king sandwich. Okay. So the best part. Why was, are you saying that like that? Is that what it's, the that's chick what it's king? called? The chick king. Chick king? It's like C H apostrophe so king, like chick king. It's probably trying to like get some catchy like Big Mac, you know? Yeah. But um, when I got the Whopper for Pete's sake, what else do they want? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> What shit do you need? <laughs> right. Got it cornered. So anyhow, you, you know what he ordered me? Huh? <laughs> a McChicken. <laughs> a McChicken. A McChicken? A McChicken. <laughs> a McChicken. Did you get it, though, is the real question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can get it. I was it. like, did you just say McChicken? <laughs> I don't blame him, man. That's stupid names. You know? Come on, dude. It's a fucking chicken sandwich. Hey, that's what yeah, I'm how saying. about a spicy chicken sandwich? Yeah. How about we just call it that? Burger How about chicken. the rest of your order? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, medium fry. That was it. That's it. I drink water. I always got to get on water. No, I meant in a good way. Like, damn, that's it. Yeah, I that's thought you it. were getting breakfast. 
Yeah, didn't you say? Oh, you talking about? No, no, no. I thought you talking oh, about what else did yeah. I get from Burger oh, okay. King with yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering why we were concerned about what else I oh, got no, with I my McChicken sandwich. King? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I would like. Uh, shit. All right, I'll make it easy. Fuck it. Just Please. give me, just give me like a breakfast special with with uh, bacon and sausage and scrambled eggs. I'm good. And and toast, you know, and hash browns. In uh, pri- <laughs> oh my gosh, make it easy. No, make just just give me any breakfast specials, this is and then I just tell me what the fuck it is. All right, we got some egg specials. You ready? Sure. Three eggs, any style, with hash boys, ham, two bacon, and two sausage. That's right? me. Bam. They charge extra dollar for you cheese, dude. You got it for that, huh? You extra dollar for cheese. You gonna do it? You gonna put four quarts? You know, I've already gone for. Go get the, the cheese, dude. You deserve it. It was Father's Day. Well, I'm it's- thinking. I'm thinking like this. Here goes my logic behind getting the cheese. Okay. okay? Because I've already gotten the hot dog, right? Then I switched to breakfast food. You know, so it's already two different wacky You're fucking items. with your insides right so now. So I might as well just triple it up and go for the cheese. You know what I mean? I, I already left it checked. <laughs> oh, I nice. didn't even need to hear your spiel, baby. I, I knew what you wanted. We're good. All right. Um, and you did say scrambled, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. That completes over here. I'm going to toss it to you guys. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm hey. good. What? I'm good. Oh, that's, that's all I needed was that, that Coney boy. One Coney? One Coney. All right. See, I don't think, like, because I was even thinking maybe we, like, Uber eat some McChicken sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know how to order them. Which it, I got them from the uh, Uber Eats, mm-hmm. I think, or whatever, DoorDash. One of those fucking things. I had got the chicken sandwich, spicy boy. <laughs> From uh from Burger King, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. on Uber Eats. And uh I forget what the fuck I was at a ch- uh, I looked and <laughs> saw with uh Pell Timers. I look at It happens. Yeah, what are they talking about now? McChicken. Yeah. I looked and I saw one time when I ordered it was like I forget the, the the little nickname they use for the hot sauce. You know, they always got the little cute nicknames oh, they use so everybody fucking yeah. knows. Like the McChicken. Yeah. And uh <laughs> So fucking, I'm like, okay, so I remembered the fucking name, and I was like, put my just the whatever sauce on there, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or minus the, what it, my, oh, it was, it was minus zesty sauce is what it said. So whatever the fucking white sauce is on the chicken, chicken sandwich, it, see, that's where my brain was fucking, I'm thinking of what the sauce was. White zesty, so it was zesty sauce, like the mm-hmm. onion rings, you know yeah. what I'm saying, I'm guessing. Yeah. So um, I, I was like, put no zesty sauce on there, or whatever the fuck, you know? Yeah, and uh, she was like, okay. It came dry as bone. Just chicken and bread. Chicken. And is that what you wanted? Say what? That's what you wanted. No, I wanted just the hot sauce on there. So I figured I'd get used their lingo and it bit me in the asshole. Yeah. Now, I went there one other time. Guess what? I forget what it was now, but they said uh, j- it was some other fucking sauce they put on there for just the hot sauce. They just randomly put a different sauce. I don't know. It was it was not the same kind of <clears throat> fucking sauce that time, or maybe you know what? It was minus the other sauce they called something. But I don't. Whatever the fuck. I'm just yeah. saying. There's a lot of Burger King talk. But do you got the cheese though? That's all I'm wondering. <laughs> yeah, all that. Yep. Uh, we <laughs> did get cheese on those eggs. <laughs> okay. Because you want to go them in when they cook. You want to go in <laughs> when they cook. <laughs> That's the alcohol. What the coming fuck out of does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Man. Uh, you want to go them in. <laughs> I'm just trying to gloss over it like it didn't happen, okay? Uh, <clears throat> so, anyhow, I think. It's graduation season, right? Oh, my God, is it? And I actually filmed a bunch of funny stuff back in the spring. I'm not saying uh-huh. anything. Don't spill the beans. But that just made me thinking, you know what I'm saying? I've been seeing a lot of graduation pictures. You know, like, in my house, like, Renee's got a lot of relatives and shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we get a lot of those fucking graduation invites, you know, those cars with the little graduation pictures yeah. all over them, yeah. the new school cars. Same thing with the Christmas mm-hmm. cars. Same fucking stock shutter shit or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know why I'm getting so upset. Anyhow. Calm down. Calming down. Hottest you know, day of I the gotta year. Harness my, I got to picture Pac rolling right quick. Yeah, we, we didn't do that. Center yourself. Picture Pac rolling. All right. New man. Okay. Anyhow. You centered too hard, didn't you? You <laughs> forgot? <laughs> you, you went too hard, yeah. I did. <laughs> graduation photos. Yeah, so you, you I love came them? to the conclusion, yeah, the huh? ultimate conclusion, that graduation hats look fucking stupid. <laughs> 
<laughs> Straight up. They're so dumb. You're wearing a fucking square on your head. You know what I'm saying? You know what they look like? They look like like if you look in the background of like Star Wars scenes and shit, the dumb fucking hats they wear in that. Looks like you could have one of those in there. Fair enough. I what I don't like is the fucking tassel thing. I don't think I've ever wore one of those. I remember when I graduated, they were like, "Oh, you got to like take the tassel and like put it." Oh, yeah, something like that. When Renee graduated nursing school back uh in the day, something about I'm sure it has some meaning. Like somebody in the chats, like it signifies that you started here, but you finished here. (laughs) Right, and who gives up? And now you're a better person. I don't know, but I just think there's just too many steps. Stupid hat. You know, wear a hat if you want. Don't wear one. Right. You know, you're already wearing the gown. Well, on top of that, the hat is so fucking dumb looking. Yeah. Dog. Can we can't modernize that a little bit? It's a fucking square. Dude, it's 2022, motherfu- dude. Wait, motherfuckers in what? Like the 1200s wore those stupid fucking hats? Are we still wearing like our fucking helmet hat? Our war helmets still got frilly bird feathers sticking up the top? We got rid of the dunce hats. Yeah. Cool. Why can't we get rid of the graduation? Well, we did, I think. What? They're going to get rid of graduate. Hats, right? If there's a school that's got a dunce hat, I want to go watch them use it. <laughs> Just watch a Was that like, I'm being serious. Like, did they have that, like, during when you went to school? Like, no. I don't know how old that was. That's like fucking. That's like I don't super think they old. did that shit when my parents were kids. Okay. That's like some little rascal shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. 1920s or 30s or something like that when they first invented Dude, cameras. how fucking cool is school then? You could just be a teacher and just be like, dude, you're a fucking you, dumb You don't know this shit, you shit. fucking idiot. Get the dunce cap on. What Go the sit fucking hat on? Sit on a stool in the corner. And you, know, they were you don't drinking. even get a seat. You dog, they were drinking stool. mad heavy back then, too, them teachers. So they were already probably They were violent. cocaine up their face. What are you talking about? All this shit was Making good fun then. of kids. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, that made for some of the best damn people we ever done seen. Can I get a pale ye? Pale ye. yeah. yeah. I, I'm saying bring back the dunce cap, get rid of the graduation cap. Why don't we bring back dunce caps for the graduation caps? There we go. <laughs> you know, there you're the idiot go. that stayed in school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you dunce? <laughs> Do something different. Go to trade school. <laughs> okay. And that's our summertime thoughts. Oh, my God. So I, I don't know why I went, because it's not bad. I went to the movies. Just yesterday it was. Let me guess. What? Lightyear. Yeah. How'd okay. you get? Oh, I think you got a lot of kids, yeah. I, I thought you were going to think I was going to say Jurassic Park. I, I That was my first guess because that was number one in the box office this weekend. So you but thought maybe... you guys don't peg me as a Dra- Jurassic Park family. Uh, Leona loves dinosaurs, dinosaurs really? tearing people apart. She likes horror movies. She wow. likes people bleeding and screaming. Fair enough. Yeah, my five-year-old loves that mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> she, she watched all the Michael Myers movies and shit. That's amazing. Loves them. Yeah. So anyhow, uh, what year? It was. It wasn't good. Was it was it? a great movie. Was it? It was. You should see it. <laughs> you thought I was gonna go down with it. <laughs> yeah. You I played that one. I'm a good. I don't actor. know, man. Yeah, because I, I love Toy I Story act. so much, and this, and I, I know, I understand. Oh, I just went down and saw Top Gun Two was amazing. Fuck. Up. I mean, if you like, I, don't Top, think I, I or. All right, by the way, okay, I'm just going to say that fucking, leave it here, Buzz Lightyear is fucking great. I thought it was going to be shitty because, yeah. I'm like, it's the fucking Toy Story. No, yeah. it was fucking awesome. So, and it, like, used, like, real fucking, like, science in it and shit. It's supposed to be a real movie, you yeah. know? So, anyhow, God, I'm sniffling a lot today, I've noticed. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Allergies. That's what it is. I've had them forever. All right, so, uh, I hate Tom Cruise. Sure. I cannot stand mm-hmm. him, his face, his acting. There's nothing about him I like. Like, name, there's nothing about that man. Anything he does, anything he's did, yeah. there's nothing I like about him. There's nothing special, right? He leaves a lot to be desired for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to use a British word. He's a fucking twat. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's where I go with it. Fair. Because I don't even think British people call people twats like mm-hmm. that. They got to be real bad to be called a twat, right? Twat's pretty rough, yeah. I think it was a Gregory D and Manny Fresh song way back in the day called Shake That Twat. Anyone <laughs> shake. That twat. Move. That twat. But yeah, say Manny Fresh was was, was Cash Money. It was oh, just not that one? In the, uh, I mean. It was like later 80s. Um, so is that... So I hate Tom Cruise. Gotcha. I was just wondering Top where... Gun made me remind you. And I hated Top it, Gun. Bro. And I hate... I, I'm not even going to bother seeing... I never right. even seen Top Gun all the way through because I hate Tom Cruise. Mm-hmm. I can't... I don't even know what Tom Cruise movie I've ever seen all the way through. Uh, Jerry Maguire. Never even seen it at all. 
I never wanted to. Dude, I, I, I don't give a fuck. Been a Mission Impossible. I went and saw that vampire, not the old school interview one. Okay, I never saw that yeah, one all yeah. through. Never saw any Mission Impossible. Mm-hmm. Never watched them. Okay. Because it's got Tom Cruise. Right. But uh, the one where, was it a zombie? No, it was an uh, Egyptian mummy or something. Yeah, the mummy. It was a re- yeah, yeah, it was like it was the, a the re- new re- school of the mummy. They came out the mummy again with was Tom it the Cruise. One with the Rock. It flopped oh, crazy fucking hard. Yeah, it was that one with the Tom bitch Cruise. with the white face. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, that was the one, and it sucked dick. I let Renee talk me into going into it. She was like, "Well, it's off the old mummy. It's got to be good." I, I didn't like uh-huh. the old mummies anyhow. I wasn't a kid when they came out, so they were shitty right. to me. Uh, and the Scorpion King, it was shitty uh, graphics. Yeah, not, not, I don't. I but was just like look at it, it flopped mad fucking hard. It yeah. fell quick. But that's the only Tom Cruise movie I recall. For, I've seen Risky Business way back in the day, like when I was uh, a kid. Right. You know what I'm saying? Before he like turned into a total fucking dick lick. You know what, what I'm saying? What I've seen War of the Worlds. He ruined it. He is kind of like what known to be a douchebag, right? But it's, it's just a horrible. He plays the same exact yeah. fucking guy. In yeah, he every plays Tom Cruise. Movie. Yeah. What about collateral? Except for Tropic Thunder, he was good in. I'll give yeah, him that one. Yep. What? What about Collateral? Fuck collateral. With him and him and Jamie Foxx? I never seen it. It's got Tom he's Cruise a, in it. He's a hitman. <laughs> Fuck that. Man, movie. you said it like you've seen it and you didn't like it. No. Hey, right? I never <laughs> seen that few good man movie. Like, what did he say? You can't handle the truth. I know the fucking big line from it, but I don't know that fucking movie. Few good man. Rain oh, Man. Yeah, the one with Jack that's the only one. I, okay, I like Rain Man, right. but that's because Dustin Hoffman and he plays a. I'm noticing you're slowly starting to fucking no, get no. men's coming around. Like, all right, this one's all right. Okay, this one is okay. <laughs> no, they all suck. Yeah, Rain Man. That's the only one I'll watch, and I'll hate it because Tom Cruise is in it. And did you know, if Tom Cruise is smiling, you can draw a line down the center of his face, and his middle tooth is right in the fucking middle. No Unsee way. that. Put Tom Cruise smiling. Fucking Google it. I bet you they're going to even show it on that. Yeah, he's got to fuck his Photoshop tooth. Photoshop that. His skull Photoshop. is so fucking crooked and snaky. His fucking tooth is Well, he's a Scientology guy, right? Ah, Any one of them. Didn't he invent Scientology? Like, get right up in it. Look at that middle tooth. No, I see. I'm lining up with right the tip middle of his Right in the middle of his nose. fucking nose. Not, right. Bam! Tooth okay. right in the middle. Fair. You don't trust a motherfucker with a tooth in the middle like that. Fair enough. What does he do? Plate walnuts with it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What the fuck is he doing with that fucking tooth? I want to know, Tom. What are you doing with that goddamn middle tooth? Is that Tom? No, it's okay. fucking not the school. Why is school was... calling me in summer? Yeah, Especially wait, today. yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck they got to tell me? You sent him to voicemail, I hope. I just turned my phone off. Fuck yeah. Fuck them. Yeah, middle tooth boy. School's out for summer. Tom Cruise, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to guess we won't get him on the Palcast anytime soon. <laughs> no. If that was your fucking dream to see him here. Um, a lot happened while we were gone. A lot. It's been, it feels weird almost because in my mind, I don't know what we've talked about, what we haven't, but we've been on Twitch two times. So, But I uh, wanted to show this off because I didn't get a chance to. I want to give you props because I don't think you meant to get it for me as a birthday gift, but maybe you did. We were out in the Ozarks, if you guys don't know that. Oh, I just meant that. I just gave that for a... For, for the stream room. For your stream room. It was just a present. But it happened to be around my birthday. Yeah, but that had nothing to do with your birthday. That was just a, a gift. Wasn't a birthday gift, just a gift. But it's I wanted to show this off friend. to uh, everybody there. This Here's the dilemma I'm having with this, and maybe yeah. maybe you can help me. Maybe the chat can help me. I don't know. But, oh, okay. shit. There's a five alarm fire in downtown Holly. That's yeah, a little the Holly Hotel, month. man. Oh, the that's Holly the Hotel. It's on fire. Oh, isn't shit. that haunted? That's like one of the most haunted places. I thought Holly Hotel. I don't know. I just know I never ate there or nothing. Damn, that sucks ass. That's my little fucking town, man. I love that little town. Was that what had nothing to do with the school calling you? Well, like I think the school probably is just. Oh, oh, that's probably how they alerted up. people that have kids. Maybe I don't fucking fair know. enough. Uh, wow. Thoughts and prayers, Holly Hotel. Hopefully nobody was in there. Well, in the so uh, what day is today? Tuesday, uh, uh, eight probably full of people. <laughs> I'm thinking having dinner or supper, as they call it. Sup, sup. Um, yeah. That, so that was uh, that was not a birthday gift. That was just a pal gift. It's a pal gift, and you said you you need one for the stream room because you have a Ric Flair in the stream room. Yeah, remember he got canceled. Yeah, he did, but he I fought it. Back. He fought back. I brought, I brought him back. Yeah, he fought back. He didn't back down from no stewardess. He, did, he won't back. <laughs> Down. down from no steward. Yes. <laughs> um. So I need to know, 
do I leave this in the box or do I open it? You open it. You open this? You're goddamn right you open it. You Is open that, you it. You know, I'm a box boy. No, you put that up on a shelf loud and proud with a box. Removed. I did open my Stone Cold Steve Austin. Did man. you? You finally opened He can go right he's next to it. mad posable. See? And, and you the can give him the middle through. fingers <gasps> as he holds the beer. The Stone and the Cold beer Salute? Is flashing out. The Stone Cold Salute. Yeah, so every time I walk into that room, he's doing this and I do this. Damn. <laughs> and then I know I'm about to have a successful ass day. That's awesome. All right, so we're going to open it then because he does come with a microphone and a removable robe. And to be fair, we don't know what's under that robe. There, there could, could be, be a, a helicopter. If they put a fucking naked with a, they need to come out with a Ric Flair figure with a fucking heli, like put a little knob in his ass so he could twist it and make his dick spin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just have the robe. They can make him do the helicopter, dog. How fucking Coming dope from the be? top rope, just twist no, that thing. No, he just be like this, so he could like put his robe in his hands and hold it open. You know what I'm saying? Make it so he grip and bam. You know you push. Whoa! It. What? This comes with a microphone, Mister. No, 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 no. With what? What do you think I'm looking at right now? His back. Yep. But what's on his back? Is it a twisty helicopter boy? A bunch of extra hands. Wow. Because he gets frisky with stewardess. And you never know where Rick's hands might land. Well, he just They might grab his penis. They might unrobe. <laughs> You're just speculating at this point. <laughs> what is this? That's what he does to the stewardess as he shakes his penis. So He's he shows fingers? her he shows her that he doesn't need to touch it. I thought he went, Woo! <laughs> He's doing it. <laughs> No. You think he wooed her? <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Why would he not? That's his gimmick. <laughs> he's helicoptering. You best believe he's wooing, dog. Hands, dude. That fucking, that is definitely the same fucking hairstyle my grandmother passed away with. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, let's there fuck it. it. We done with this thing. We're gonna start at the top of these boys. You can go ahead. I'm gonna put Rick together here. Let's see what we got. Oh, you gonna switch his hands up already? Does he got a thumb oh. for checking oil? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. He sure does. <laughs> wow, he can check your oil. Nice. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy fuck. What if you open the rope and he did have the knob hanging out of his ass and the dick piece? You better check just to make sure it's not there. Dude, is is fucking... Is he wearing blue trunk? Red trunk. Red okay. trunk. He's in the red. He's in all red. No dick piece. But I'll tell you what, dude. Can you pull his underwears fucking... down? Do you get him a lump? Let's see his dick lump. <laughs> what are we doing? No real big lump. You want to check him out? No, I see from here. Okay. Yeah, I was expecting maybe he could, like, they're just jocking his dick so hard on that fucking episode that maybe he'd have a bigger fucking lump. Dude, all thing. the wrestlers said, dude, Rick's got that thing on Right. Him. So, and I mean, that's swinging. not even, like, that's not even, like, sexual. That's just, like, entertaining to look at. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's like fucking, what the hell is that thing? That's hard to get that mic. Padissi popping goblin. Sup, pals? I remember Shags hyping fake netting, but what? You supposed to rub out with it or lay it on the pillow all nice or turn your whole bed out? You talking about with a fucking fleshlight? Yeah. It's I, up to you how you choose to fuck it, I guess. Nobody could tell you how to do it. If you want to put it in between your mattresses and bang it like that, go ahead. No, hey, I don't think no two men fuck a fleshlight the same. No. Right. <laughs> Do it at your heart's content. Miguel Cardenas with the Pell scripture for three months says, what up, guys? Missed you last week. Uh, I was about to say because we didn't do it last week, but then I got it because he that's why he, he actually missed us. Well, what if he didn't even know? He just couldn't make it. He didn't even know we were on. I shouldn't have said nothing. Right. Somebody could have turned the tables. Happy belated birthday, Keegan. Can Thank you. Beautiful wife, Elizabeth, get a shout out. She's been with me for 23 years. Well, happy birthday. Fucking shout out day to Elizabeth. Elizabeth, 23 years in love? <laughs> he didn't say in love. He just said they were married. Fair enough. Years. Fair enough. Yes. Oh, she's been with him for 20 years. 23. Not okay. Yeah. Trey, <laughs> Trey Mayfield. For five. <laughs> in lust for one. Oh, oh, just one. The first year. The first year lust. Yeah. yeah. Trey, he comes with glasses. Does he? Yeah. Like reading glasses His or sunglasses? Bag sucks. Uh, they look like stunting on hose glasses, dude. Oh, mirrored boys? No, they're like 
That's when he's high profile and jet flying, before. kiss stealing. That's one of his uh, things on his resume. He's a kiss stealer. He steals kisses from your bitch. That sounds that's a, sexual harass. Uh, I was gonna say actually that's that's, that's that's sexual harassment, misconduct, and they, assault. They fucking made his hair come out just enough so you can slip the shades behind him. <laughs> the ingenuity it. on this thing is fucking well, it's a, yeah, cause next level. His ears are actually under there. They hook over his ears. <laughs> wow. You got to bend him forward a little bit. Yeah, well, like his arms out too. Just, how would he do? He does like, woo. Like he should that, have right? the hand, like the, the hand sticking out for his other hand. Like he's like, like. Oh, right, right. Like he's about to chop somebody. Woo these bitches. Yeah. Woo them. Uh, let's see. Trey Mayfield, three month prescription. Prescription. I'm clearly a fourteen year old boy with a cracking voice. My boys, good to see you, pals. Whoop whoop. Hell Fuck yeah. Dark deal to seven one three. Shaggy, uh, graph contact details, please. Do we bring our own paint? Mm. Look, uh, we kind of concreted it down, and uh, you we, we, you can't bring your own paint. Because uh, because the grounds, you know what I'm saying? So we will provide paint, and there's going to be a challenge to it. I won't tell you what it is till you get there, but there is. I'm just saying, try to try to stick basic. That's all I'm going to say. Because, yeah. So do not bring your own paint. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we went and saw Buzz Lightyear. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And uh, what a great movie, like I was saying. What a just it was wholesome. Absolutely one wonderful movie. Did you cry. I'm I I'm gonna watch it again with the kids because it streams on Disney Plus. Disney don't fuck around. They come out with a movie you can watch it that day on Disney Plus. That's on Disney Plus right now. Yeah. Wow. I'll fuck. I went to the movies and saw it anyhow. You know what I'm saying? I love going to the movies, but I didn't know it was on Disney Plus. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was was good. And uh, so we're driving home, and Renee's like, "What the fuck?" And she uh, she's like, "I forgot my fucking ponytail up in there." She left her fucking hair on the fucking armrest in the theater. Wow. That would like, be a good treat for the next person. And I was just like, poor kid that's got to clean up in there, man. And he's going to fucking be like, what the fuck? He's probably going like, to pick it up with a broom or like broomstick, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's not gross me because it's my yeah, wife, yeah. but some stranger's fucking You don't know hair? what it is. I ain't dark touching that for theaters, shit. I'm know. getting like some of those hot dog tongue boys or something. I'm not touching it, though. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could have lice. That's true. Could have crabs. You never know. Someone could have just got scalped in the theater. You don't know. It could be blood dripping from mm-hmm. it. Yeah, so that was a nice little adventure. Leaving her uh, ponytail weave. You guys didn't go no. back and get it? No. No, no. Huh. Didn't. Well, whoever got it. Dark Yoda, 7130. Jeff Benyon. CrossFit is kicking my ass. 353 pounds down to 298. Broke 300 in two months. Nice. Smash. Uh, this is all in like, I, I don't want to yell it all, but it's all in capitals and explanation points. Smash Rod is definitely getting bigger. Oh, pal, yeah. The Smash Rod? Like his penis? He just said Smash Rod. is def- So that would be a Smash Rod. How's I mean, is it, that's what it sounds from? like, right? Oh, because he's losing his belly. Maybe you've seen his that dick may, more. Yeah, 100%. That's got to be Wow, the Smash Rod, huh? Well, congratulations, Jeff very- Bunyan. Dude, keep that up. Keep it up, Bunions. Yeah. Keep it up, dude. Get that smash rod fucking ready for the summer. Cherry Loca, a.k.a. Tina Davis. Two-month prescription. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Palosaurus? Is she that sent me doing? some thoughts and prayers. Thank you. There you go. I also found out on Sunday my dad died. <laughs> Fun times. Well, I don't know if you want thoughts and prayers back or yeah. actual real fucking S- sorrows. Send them back. Thoughts and prayers. There you go. Send them thoughts and prayers around today. Okay, this mic. Did we order the food or what? Sorry, my belly's just mad hungry. I'm a little bit off. You want a little snack? I I got some popcorn in there. You know what I did today? Hmm. Like absolutely nothing. I baked my head in the fucking sun today. I put on, I put on uh, my fucking uh, slides that are made out of one piece of rubber, so they float really good. That was just a perk to them. I didn't even realize that until I jumped in the pool with them. So you know what I did? I got one of those fucking snorkels you put on. It takes up your whole face. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It has a boy that comes out. And I just fucking dead man floated. And my feet floated because of my shoes. And just fucking almost fell asleep. Just floating in there for like an hour. Just floating on nothing. Were you all soggy and wrinkly? Didn't check. But it was R to the E to the L to the A to the X scene. 
Super First duper. day of summer, hottest day of the I year. I think my brain got longest a little bit. day of the year. You spent it right. That's right. It is the fucking it's summer first day of solstice. Summer. You know, I I did the first day of summer right. You did by doing nothing and marinating outside and getting. I bet your back is so tan. Probably not. I don't know if it gets any darker than it already is. You can't really check unless you got a mirror or somebody that'll check it out. You know you. how rarely I see my back. Yeah, like I, 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 I have my. I know my back. I know you've seen yours recently weird. when it was, but yeah, weird. yeah, you got a pretty fucked up back. Yeah, it's a weird back. Like the surface of your back is not it's cool. It's just not normal. I bet you chicks hate Scars, giving you massages. Dude, they love it. Oh, they're just, like, I can't wait to just rub that it's like they're, nasty they're, back. If you had a blind bitch reach your back, I my I don't got reach, no hair back there though. You know what I'm saying? It probably That's spells something. Your back out of a blind so, bitch rubbed your back though. You're probably like, oh, what do you be, think it'd read out? Like, she can read braille on those so skin saying, tags. What do you sure. think your back says? Help, <laughs> help. I think it says help. <laughs> nice. I was thinking yeah. enter here with an arrow to your butt. <laughs> but what do I know? <laughs> A cock garage or what? A boner garage. <laughs> boner garage. Cock garage. Jeez, oh, Pete. <laughs> Thought maybe that's what your skin yeah, tags did. Yeah, no, no, no. It's a, it's it's a weird back. It's not even a brow. It just spells them out in English. <laughs> My front ain't that weird. You know what I'm saying? But that back. Your front's not. not I mean, it's not great. Yeah, you it's don't not get great. I'm not saying I do, but you definitely don't either. But I, We man. both could work on our fronts a lot. Like, my back, I don't care about. I really don't care about. I don't give a fuck Because I don't that. never see my back. Yeah, exactly. So why do I fucking care? Out of sight, out of mind. Like, my ass. I, th- that's the first time I saw my ass in forever was on that paintball vlog. And boy, what a fucking sight that is. Just a sorry fucking shoebox. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Holy fuck. <laughs> Mine's pretty funny. The hair really picks up on camera. No, it just picks up in life, dog. <laughs> it's because it's a lot. That's why. <laughs> Actually, it took off ten pounds on camera. It made you look your butt a little bit better. You think it would it would ease the blow, but it, it sure didn't. Yeah, it's, no. a, it's a hairy ass. Uh, Joey Doyle, pale ye, pale ye from sunny South Florida. I could go for that bubblegum powder right now. Bubblegum power right now. Bubblegum power. Oh, bubblegum power. Are you talking about bubblegum powder? Remember we were talking about the powder that comes on gum and stick gum back in the day? Yeah, that white, but. He said he could go it's for like some flour. of that bubblegum power right now. My Chad feels like I got fondled by sandpaper. If you're working outside oh. this summer, don't forget to powder your boys. No, oh. no, 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 powder them. He's talking about his nuts, bubblegum powder. Gotcha. Your bubblegum bag. Mine don't look like a bubblegum. What does yours look like? Like a fucking handsome tan lad. <laughs> Mine's definitely a, definitely a brown bag. Well, not brown, but with a, definitely tanish. a handsome ta- tan lad yeah. with a turkey throat <laughs> and a big goiter hanging off his neck. <laughs> Benny Blanco retracted his shit. Anthony Meist, uh, can my wife Jasmine get a shout out? Yeah, every week, Anthony Meist. Shout out to Jasmine. Jasmine. Am I, Jasmine. Every week, right? No. What a good guy. Yeah. Seems like a world shot. No, I, all I know is I see Anthony Mice uh, always in the Super Chats every week. I don't remember all, if it's all shout outs, but if it is, dude. Well, well, well. We're shout taking out. a trip from Cali to Texas tomorrow, yeah. and she's doing her fucking best with getting it all ready. Well, fucking super shout out to fucking Jasmine then, because that shit sucks packing for a trip. I think. I hate packing. Like, something about days. girls in general to me. When it comes time just more for a natural. trip, they just know how to do it better. Or packing or planning, straight up, dude. Step back and just let them do their thing. Because I wish that Renee would do they, that. That's one thing she doesn't do for me is pack. Okay, I mean, if we're okay, going yeah, somewhere, she'll pack all the essentials. I was gonna say because she like plans all of our trips. That's so to the point. But she where don't. Like, she, but um, all the essentials, but yeah. not my actual clothes and stuff. Gotcha. Fair you know enough. What I'm saying? Fair enough. I mean, and I'm but so that's bad. fair because you got to know what you want to wear. She knows what I wear. I, I always over like I throw like a fucking seven pairs of drawers, yeah. fucking like mad shorts, mad. And I'll just like hurry up and fold and throw them in there, and that's all. I'll mm-hmm. forget about like fucking hoodies and warm shit. You know what I'm saying or whatever. And then fucking. Uh, and then I wear like fucking two pairs of drawers the whole time. We'll be there for two days. You right. Know you only wear the two. I'm thinking, okay, we're gonna, I'm going to get wet. I'm going to sweat. I think shit. the same thing. Ah, maybe one day I'll just fall into a lake. I'm some spaghetti sauce on my shit. Which right. happened before when I had no fucking change of clothes. You prepare before. for the worst. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, shout I, out to the women, dude. And I always, I always pack night of. Always. Oh, same. Sometimes. I, I hate it. I always Sometimes it. the and morning I of. I fucking hate emptying my suitcase. I hate packing and I hate unpacking. I don't. I love going to where I'm going and all that shit. But the packer, that's why I just want to get like fucking clothes everywhere uh-huh. I go. 
a, a lot of times when I get back, I'll just open the the suitcase. I don't care if it's clean or not. Just Everything's getting washed. Yeah. It's just getting well, washed. Well, it's all mixed up with dirty shit anyhow. That certain keep it suitcase. stanky and yeah. you know, you keep the back of the the suitcase for a little uh for dirty clothes. Yeah. Zip it up. Keep the other stuff fresh. But it doesn't matter. Clay did a Father's Day stream on his Facebook. I didn't have no paint out of nothing. I was swimming in the lake. Oh. I don't know what that was doing with the suitcase. <laughs> I don't know. It just popped in my head. But go ahead. <laughs> no, we're good. I think I think we're I thought you were boiling now and I was just trying to <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Clay and the, the Father's Day stream. No, Facebook. it was fun. It was a little it bit was. fun. Took the fat. We we uh, tied off some uh, kayaks to that big ass blow up pink Cadillac thing I got. Yes. Took it out to the middle of the lake. It was pretty fucking cool. You guys on the lake long? Talking know. about the lake behind your house? Yeah. What, what other lake? Michigan? I don't know. There's yeah. a lot of lakes in Michigan. Fuck it's a great lake here. state. I could have drove that thing there. The Cadillac? Yeah. Flintstone style. Put your feet in the bottom and <laughs> run right into the water. Does it have that? It's like got a net spot? in the bottom. Wow, you really could. If I That's kind of dope, right? If four people could easily do that, just walk with the bottom. Because it's got like the bottom. What's well, I got to put a patch on it already. It's got a slice oh, in no. it. They just dragged across a fucking little boy sticking out the floor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What could you do? <sighs> yeah, no, it was like Damn. immediately. That, trying to put it in the water. It's like, fuck. So, oh, right away? Yeah. But it was just like one of the seats or whatever the fuck. But no, it still sucked. It still yeah. sucked. It's, yeah, it's brand new. Seat, you don't want yeah. a fucking fucking no. flat. Now seat. you got to fix the flat. And but the bottom, the floor seal. is made out of like fucking net material. You know what I'm saying? There's a hole in it. So let water into your feet and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So you could just cut that net part out. You go fishing. You do all types of shit in that thing with you that net. You take that on an ice shanty. You could take it down an ice shanty if you really wanted to. You and could. down the side of the Himalaya if you wanted. You know what I'm saying? Just like Indiana I'm Jones. I'm just saying, dude, now I know it's like that. Flintstone the fuck out of that thing, dude, and run full speed into that lake. Yeah, well, that won't work. No, you get I'll, stuck in the... Rip it apart with all the stumps and shit and sticks. Is it easy? So you just go in from your... Because it's kind of like mucky right there, but... I go in off my, my dock part, and I don't... Gotcha. Where that, that other shit's Got to go in at yeah. the dock. Go in at the dock. Uh, Robert Kavanaugh. Come on down. Come on that was good you got it and you you sound like a tornado sign trailing up there first saturday every month man ronan's second to last soccer game a few weeks ago a couple weeks ago whatever the fuck it was that park had the tornado siren in it if you live in michigan oh, or midwest wow. i'm sure you got tornado sirens everywhere but uh and every the fir first saturday of every month at one o'clock at least in michigan yep. they test them bitches and holy, in the summertime at least. And fuck, that bitch was that Saturday at 1 o'clock. That bitch was so motherfucking loud, dog. And even when it stopped, it took forever to wind down. It's like, like when you're far away, it sounds yeah. like it almost just stopped. Uh-uh. That bitch goes for minutes. That in Michigan is how you know a tornado is coming. Yeah. You hear that. Well, if, when it's not warning to right. the fucking first Saturday. That'll pick back up. Yeah, that tornado's coming through. It gets loud again. They usually don't do that when it's a tornado. Usually a tornado has never came through. It's Saturday at 1 o'clock, the first Saturday of the month. At 1 That's why it's usually safe to, to try it then, I think. Probably. You know, one of these days, it's going to happen. It is. <laughs> and nobody's going <laughs> to believe it. Him. And everybody's going to be outside and get sucked up by a fucking tornado. It's going to happen. It's coming. The fucking alarm that cried wolf. <laughs> <laughs> fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Goes on to say, Robert Cavanaugh, what up, boys? Glad to see you guys. You should make a calendar for next year. What a great idea. 2023, uh, boy? Much love from your friendly neighborhood mailman. Let's go, what? Oh, see, he knows the calendars get delivered a lot. Mm -hmm. He's like, dude. He probably delivers a lot of calendars. I'm sure calendars are very popular. Everybody loves a calendar. Who does? If you don't really know somebody or really like somebody, what do you get? I'm a fucking calendar. I get a calendar for somebody I do love. Right. Everybody so can use everybody it. Everybody covered. If you like them or hate them, <laughs> right? Get them covered. a calendar. Right. <laughs> Megan Massey, palscription, new one. Let's go, baby. Pedestron, hey shags. How has Violent J? Well, he has very good. He has good. <laughs> yeah, he has. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <clears throat> David Porter got my Harry Fairy t shirt ordered. Mm. <laughs> no, oh, I like, that's what you should do instead of sex noises. 
That one. Yeah, that one's sexy. That was what could have been if someone went in your butt. But I didn't take it as a sex noise. No. I took it as excitement. I had a mouthful. Hold on, let's see. What's this? this, uh, Got my Harry Fairy t shirt ordered. Mm. Identical. Is that one good? Yeah. All right. I'll I'll try. I can't promise, but I'll try. Uh, Misfit 17. <sighs> Still really sick with COVID, but as long as I got my pals, nothing can take me out. Let's go, baby! Pale, yeah. I love you, King Shags, Josh, Manny, and the whole pal community. I love you, too. Pale, okay. yeah. We love him right back. Ryan Number Yates. Love. What up, pals? Can I get a shout-out to my ninjas, Big John, J-Mac, Nick, and my ninjet, Caitlin. Oh, pal, yeah. That's a lot Caitlin of ninjas Jenner? and ninjets. Could be any Caitlin. Shout-out to Big John, J-Mac, Nick, and... Caitlin! The Ninjet Caitlin. I was going to say also Caitlin, but it was not. Well, I didn't say shut What up. about awesome Caitlin? Okay. You too. said also, but if you said awesome Caitlin, that's kind of a cool name. <laughs> awesome Caitlin. Or what, like, if Caitlin Awesome, that sounds like an indie wrestler. <laughs> Caitlin Awesome. Caitlin Awesome. Caitlin Awesome. Right? Okay. Stephanie Lundin. Oh, head of the game. How long ago was that? Okay, last we already pictured Pac rolling. Thanks for the, uh, the you know, I'm going to picture Pac rolling again. Yeah, be careful, because last time you lost your train of thought. That's right, I did. Okay. No, like I said, nothing was better. You than- know, I didn't lose my train of thought this time. I pictured Pac rolling, driving a train. Hey, <sighs> you mix it up every you time. You know what was on the back helps. of that train? My thought. And Prayers. No, no, just no, my just thought. your thought. Okay. Yeah. No, watching Tom Wood, like I said, picture Pac Rowan. It's good to see someone who's never done it before. Yeah, he really experienced him, for yeah. the first time. He was in there for about 30, 40 seconds. He was. He really got on there and pictured yeah. him rolling. Uh, Kitty Fetz Laser, Shaggy, when your twin boys join the army, did Jump Steady try talking them out of it, encourage it, or stay out of it? I don't even think he knew. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell afterwards. I was like, yeah, my kids weren't in the army. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta refresh my cup. Remember, I told you I'm not gonna drink the gallon on the air no more. I'm gonna always drink out of one of our shifters. And goddamn it, I yeah. meant it. Look, re- we'll do refills on the air, but no, no. no you know what I've been drinking out of all day? Going back and forth. Woo, yeah. speedballing. Well, you got, you got to fucking uh, water down the monster. It, it, it helps the heart. What, what, what are you guys? We took a poll Sunday. Meth or crack? Oh, like, I'm a crack guy. Yeah, I oh, think, no, I think it, was, it was hair on a crack. Um, yeah, uh, heroin to me like that seems pretty deadly. So I would. What well, cracks not? Well, like not as bad in my in my mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you, but hold on, I, I don't really. Do you do crack with like a needle though? Do you shoot no, crack? You, you don't. Crack. So you start breaking you needles into down. the mix. You know, what that, to me like that scares me. Crack back down and fucking somehow. I mean, technically, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it if you want it. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm just saying, I want for crack. Yeah, crack for sure. Crack boy. Heroin's too heavy for this guy. Not crack, though. Too, no, no. <laughs> okay. Put just, them both in front of my face. I might not, you know, control myself with the crack, but. Yeah, just speedball them. There you go. Uh, uh, what the fuck? It says, member, three months, pale scription, message retracted. They didn't want to say nothing. So oh, well, they thanks. They just want to let us know. The mysterious pal. Pelsterious? Pelst- Ray Pelsterious Jr. Holy fuck, is he a fucking pale scribe now? Oh. <laughs> he might be. Uh, eyeball the terrible. I just spit. Uh, can I get a shout out to my homie Brent, who was murdered six years ago today? I Oof. miss you, brother. Pretty fucking grim, but yeah. Shout out to Brent. Absolutely. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck my shit. Uh, skipped. You're Bro. solo today, baby. Oh, my, that's right. You don't got that. My shit broke. So. Okay, here we go. I found it pretty quick. Razio. New pal cast member. Mm. There it is. Bam. You happened to do it as soon as I was getting a drink, too. <laughs> You're right. That wasn't it was planned? Meant to be. No, I swear to God. That's the power that of pals. That was meant to be, dog. We got... Uh, That's the power of pals. Uh, the e- we got ESP, the P's for pals. Extra special pals. Fucking A. ESP, you saw it here first, right Dude. here on the Pellcast. Doesn't wow. get any better. Uh, ES Pals. <laughs> especially special pals. Wow. The specially special pals? Especially special pals. That's how you communicate through ESP. Kind of like The Shining? 
No, that's a shiny. That's something a whole different. No, shaking well, your eyes, bleeding stuff. Standing over scanners because that's my thing instead of the shining. No, neither of those. Shining is better than scanners, though. No, absolutely not. It is. That's why scanners sold way more tickets to the box office. Speaking of selling tickets, how do you feel about Star Wars ending tomorrow? I didn't know. It's the last season. I'm the third Episode, right? I did. I, did. I swear to me. I, think I expected more. I, I thought it just started, but I guess it, it, it has. Well, six, yeah, it has. I mean, six weeks, month and a half. That goes pretty quick. That's... Especially uh, when it's the uh, springtime. Ain't no spring chicken no more. You sad? I am. I I wanted more. Like yeah. I expected more out of the series. I think you know? maybe that's what they were going I, I'm for. Not, though. I'm not. Uh, well, it, 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 maybe there's unleashing everything on this last episode. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I still like it. Don't get me wrong. It's fucking awesome. We get to see Darth Vader getting live. Mm-hmm. But I just I don't know what I expected. But it wasn't uh, the adventures of Baby Leo. Le- uh, I was say Leona, my daughter. Baby Leona. But uh, Princess Baby Princess Leo Leah. Princess Leah. <laughs> now hold on, Princess Leah. Is that? That's the main bitch from the fucking you know, it, ones. Yeah, yeah. The ones on the side. So yeah. She Carrie Fisher, right? Yes. She, she R.I.P. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> she gets but thoughts and prayers, is she yes. is Obi Wan like her dad? No. no. Although she asked him that. Yeah. She, she asked him. Like, yeah. Hey, no. Yeah. The baby Leah. <laughs> baby Leah. Are you my dad? And he's like, no. Oh, she asked him this in the episode. Yeah. Because okay. he looked at her because he said something. He was like, you just like your mother. And he looked at her and she caught the look. Obi-Wan had an affair with Obi-Wan her Obi-Wan fucked Padme in the butt. But the thing was, Padme had that little piece of skin up there was tore. So the nut still went into her cervix vagina. Oh, she had a, like a butt tag? Yeah, she picked it off and it ripped the whole skin out of her. <laughs> so he thought he was good hitting it in the butt. She was like, bust freely, man. You're in the butt. He did. Next thing you know. Luke and Leia. So Padme's Leia's mom. Yes. Okay. And Luke's mom. They're twins. Who's her dad then? Darth Vader. What? Are you serious? <laughs> you didn't know that? No. What the fuck? <laughs> Darth Vader is Princess Leia's fucking... Luke and Leia are twins. I Darth thought Vader they is... were fucking boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> no, that's always been everything because they did kiss in, in part they two. They did, right? I'm not... Part, yeah, they, yeah. After he got his arm cut off and he's like recovering at the beginning... They give, they give a gold smack, smack around the lips. They don't know the brother and sister, though. That's a, that, that whole thing you got weird. You didn't watch Return of the Jedi? Man, I don't know which one. If it was one of the original ones, I did. Yeah, well, Because we had that kids. three set thing. Return but I'm saying, I always thought they were no, fucking Return boyfriend Jedi and girlfriend. She kisses them. She kisses them in Empire Strikes Back. Right. Yeah, but, but it's Return, Return of Jedi, Jedi when we find out. Because they, in Empire Strikes Back, they reveal that Luke was a dad. So, of course, they had to up that and say, okay, now Leia's just Wow. Sister. And they're twins. So, when they were born... Padme died, and it can turn into Darth Vader. Then we're the yep. parents. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kenobi took Luke and gave him to his step family on Tatooine and stays on Tatooine to look after him as a broken man because he thinks he killed Anakin Skywalker, his but Padawan. He didn't. He, didn't. he turned him into an evil bastard. So now Senator Bail Organa, he took, who was a big part in the uh, Clone Wars and shit, he took Princess Leia to Alderaan. Well, he took Leia. He was like a senator, and a, a, they, they run Alderaan. So she's mm-hmm. a princess of Alderaan. Okay. So they're not really their kids. So Luke got the bone. He raised in some dusty little fucking house in the middle of the desert. And Princess Leia in this lush-ass planet well, in this fucking princess, palace. Hence princess, yeah. you know. So, I mean, but who got the shit on the stick in the end? They both did because they made out with each other. Well, Luke's still alive. Well, Mark Hamill's still alive. I guess they... Well, I guess in... Well, did they say? I, I think they didn't say she died in the fucking last in the fucking in, in the movie. Oh yeah, she did no. die. Okay, yeah. that's right. So they didn't, both died. Didn't uh, in the new movie it was wasn't it that <laughs> Kylo Ren guy f- killed her? Or she he killed Harrison Ford. Or he something? killed Harry Ford. He did. I yeah. seen that one. That was like the first one of the new. Do series you think of movies. Harrison Ford's <laughs> friends call him Harry? I hope. How weird is it Harry. picturing him? As, hey, it's Harry, <laughs> and it's Indiana Jones walks in. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> like Harrison just sounds like some man shit, but Harry, I don't know. Yeah, like that's a movie name. Harry, that's a strong chin, Harrison Ford. Oh. But Harry, that looks like Harry Woody Harrison. Harrison. You know what I'm saying? Or fucking Woody mm-hmm. Allen. Definitely and Woody, Woody Allen. Allison, both of them They're mixed in one. <laughs> that's an ugly kid. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Cisco, y'all open my damn package yet? 
We did on fucking... Yeah, we did on Twitch. You need to start watching I, Twitch I even, I even uh, addressed it because I seen them in, in one of the streams. And Thank I, you for the stands, yeah. by the way. I even demonstrated how they work for original Darth Vader, mm -hmm. fucking 1977 figure, and for the newest classic figure... Yeah, we tried them both. The fucking Bo-Katan. I tried them mm -hmm. both. And Dude, they both work beautifully. I already you go up in that fucking stream room right there. I already got my fucking little glass out there on display, dude. I got my Bowser yeah, hat. Yeah, you got your Mario my Mystery closet. Pack. Yeah. Dude, and I didn't even notice we were so busy looking at your hat pins. Those slidey boys. Yeah. My Mario one slides up and down the pipe. Oh, shit. Really? I couldn't believe it. Wow. I was like, I have a slidey pin now. And you said it was too much. It's too much. <laughs> No, some of those my Star way. Wars ones are no, no, a little crazy. Mine was the size of a belt buckle. Yeah. You had a little Mario slip up and down. That's it. Just That's... like you said, the one I had with a little mm -hmm. pork flap and his wings, cute. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? The fucking, yep. the whole X-Wing fighter crashing into a like, silver really... fucking swamp, not cute. Where are you going to wear that? Right, exactly. You're not putting that on your head. Hey, what are you going to do? Like, show some, look at this, check it out. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, so. There's a limit there's a... to cuteness so, on Yeah, that. we got your damn package. Yeah, no, right? thank you. You didn't start watching the damn stream I, on I Friday. Swear I told him on stream. I could have sworn can, I did. You can actually go watch that stream right now if yeah, you want. It's on our VODs. It's, yeah. Videos you just, on demand. You don't even have to subscribe. Just go to Twitch and search Shaggy in the Creek. Oh, he's already still subscribed. He's followed. He's what subscribed. Fucking watch? Maybe he was sleeping. Well, definitely he was sleeping. He was sleeping on our been. show. Had to have been. Cisco. And he's also a new... Palosaurus. <laughs> How'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was mad sexual. Was it? <laughs> Your cheeks were shaking. I was just trying to imitate you. I was, that didn't sound like you. No, was, How was yours? I, uh, hold on. Maybe take a drink. Yeah. And get it. Uh, new pal scription. Mm. <laughs> it worked. What did mine do? You were like, oh, mm. close. Like, yeah, the cheeks were going. Mm. I think it, oh, there it is. Yeah, you were feeling it. I, for some reason, I grip my teeth and close my eyes really hard when I do it. Mm. That's why I'm shaking. <laughs> why do you got to do it without the pop? <laughs> I'm telling you, you got to grit your teeth and shut your eyes really hard. Mm. I mean, you? I'm clenching my jaw. <laughs> yeah, but your head's not yeah. shaking. I no. Think, <laughs> what, what, I'm fucking okay? sweating. I'm hot. <laughs> Damn, you worked up a sweat? You Fuck, I hope we don't get back to back. Fucking Dog, you are dude. so out of shape. You got, uh, dude. I'm drenched. Sweated for going mm, back to well, back. There's a, lot, there's a lot of light. It's probably the pollen in the air <laughs> or something. It's the crack. Yeah, not the heroin. The crack. Crack smoke. All right, Crazy. guys. Food. Jurgen will be here in five minutes. Jurgen, who's Jurgen? That's our delivery driver. Isn't that like Jurgens for jacking off? Jurgens is lotion. I used to be a Jurgens boy. Because not for being like a Jerkin Jurgens. Isn't that like those a joke back in the day or something? I mean, it sounds right. I don't know. But I so did. So some jack off is delivering our shit. Um, well, you okay? You over there? I'm a Sarah V boy now. Sarah V. That's my lotion. Oh, it's I don't use lotion. I don't know why. I, I got. I use lotion for a while. But look at watch. Watch. My I can't arm. imagine my life without lotion. Watch my arm. every fucking day. Look at that. Wow, that's soft. That that that's like fucking. That's nothing. If I just you want me to get some CeraVe, if just I just, try that thing. Oh, I know what you're talking about, CeraVe. Yeah. No, because I've used that too. It's like a fucking. This is, this is actually very very mild. Like if I get out the pool, get out the shower or something, like right when I dry off, it looks like I look like Ashy Larry from the Dave Chappelle show, just fucking wow, everywhere. That though. bad. Saying, yeah, it's bad. Uh, uh, crazy sisters, happy Tuesday, uh, my pals, all my pals, must pal love. Happy Tuesday, Joy Doyle. My biggest fear is getting backed into a corner by Rick Flair's meat spin while he's wooing my, in my face. That is pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, seriously, though. Woo! 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 It's like, and you know he, that everybody was hammered woo, on that plane. Woo! 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 You think he was doing a different level? I was just staring at you for real like I was doing it. You were getting was into creepy? it. Yeah. If the lights were out and you had that fucking powdered wig on, <laughs> that's that would be that would be something I'd want to forget. Well, it's, it's spelled like... C A R A V E S. Now I was thinking like S A R A H dash V Sarah V. Oh no, it's like with a C to Sarah V. That's like a snack cake or something, isn't it? Sarah Lee. Sarah Lee. Sarah Lee. Is that like diet that. food? Diet no, cakes? No, she is not diet. Oh, I no, want to try no. some then. Sarah Lee diet is cakes? It, no, 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 just normal ones. There's Sarah Lee makes good? some good shit. Yeah, I never She's tried good. it. I always said it was diet. I'm gonna get into some Sarah Lee shit. Duncan Hines. Man, all well, I know those Duncan Hines. Ones, you know what I'm saying? I there used to be a DJ in shit. Detroit named DJ Duncan Hines. Really? Yeah. He uh, he was DJ for uh, Detroit's Box. He's even a rapper, Detroit's Did Box. Did you ever meet him? No. 
They have one uh, one song that was played in Detroit called Spin to the Groove Line. And they, for some reason, the rapper, Troy Box, he had this gimmick where he just kept doing like a Roger Rabbit voice of going, please, like Roger Rabbit. Really? Yeah, like he could do that. And that so was like their, that their big hit? Rap. Well, yeah, that was like their big local hit. Back in that was probably late eighties, sometime probably like eighty eight or something, maybe eighty seven. What do I know? Oh, so yeah, getting back in the corner by Ric Flair's dick. <laughs> Anime nights. Happy Tuesday, boys. Hey, happy Tuesday. My brother and I are losing our house in a few days. Mind if I crash on your couch? I don't have a couch in my house right now. I need to just get a brand new one. I don't have a couch. I guess I do, just not where it should be. Inflatable couch. I don't have one of those either. Those are pretty cool. I always wanted. I got an inflatable one. car that's not inflatable no more. Right. But fuck, I'm best, uh, best luck on, on the fucking house, huh? Yeah, what the fuck, man? It's uh, not a friendly market right now. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, for buyers. Guess what? Chicken butt. Sold the house. Whoa! Yeah, it just happened this morning. We did a little bit of negotiating you know back and forth. They tried, yeah, I got fucking 500000 Wow, for that piece of no, shit, I huh? sure didn't. Um, the location's hot. But, uh, yeah, a little bit of negotiating back and forth. Had to put on my big boy panties. I they remember. thought they were going to talk this guy down. You're not talking. We were in Arkansas. Down. We had to wait to start shooting a vlog because you were talking bees. And I had to phone. stand next to the one tree where I got signal. That's right. And uh, you heard me. I was very stern. Said you no. So I Buy, that, sell, you son of a bitch. Trade. Tell those sons of bitches. He just kept saying bitches and yeah. son, those sons of bitches and those... Well, I was smoking cigarettes. Bastards and sons of bitches. Going crazy. Tell that dude. bastard. Tell those sons of bitches. I'm a fucking... I'm a real estate mogul. You're getting a lot yeah. of congrats over here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you are a mogul now. I, I sold have, one house. My, I got fucked in my blood. You're a mogul, though. Not really, because moguls do it good. I'm more like a fucking shitty salesman. No, I really didn't do a whole lot, but... I'm just so glad to be able to move forward, dude. That, that's a lot of... I, I don't ever want to go through that process I've had a lot again. of adventures in that. Well, I had one big adventure in that house, but I've had a you lot did. of adventures in that house. I had a lot of adventures there, too. All it's going to be a sad day. All I'm saying is this, is before that house got sold, I lived up to my end of the bargain. You did. You shit your pants? On that house. No, but I and, did somewhere and, else. Hold up. So, I'm talking about before you guys sold that house. Yeah. I fulfilled my end of the bargain. I know you're with yeah. something about that house. So, so funny thing is, what did I say? I go, I don't want to release nothing until the ink is signed. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, we're yeah. moving forward. Right. So that that, that wow, happened very soon. Fuck about none of that, huh? No, they did. They, oh, that yeah. came off. Well, you had to. You have to hire an inspector. Yeah, you know I know. Saying? That's why sounds like and now <laughs> I knew what is the one thing. The one thing that came back on that inspection report was that that's where time. the negotiating came in. Dog, I so, told you it was a fucking it was a wreck. It was bad. <laughs> that's the only thing I had to negotiate like, on. Like, they they were like everything else is straight, but that's a little fucked up. What's going on? So uh, that that's gonna take thousands of dollars to repair. No yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. That's bad. So. You like the dog, I, I was immediately. Yeah. I know, yeah. I got to get some of this stuff out there. Immediately, huh? like wanted to throw up in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, that was. I dude, that was the first time I ever saw my own attic. I've lived there my Why pretty you much my entire life. Bag of what we're talking about? Well, they, they're well aware. We're pointing up, and I didn't point up once. <laughs> you didn't poop your pants. So what's the only other thing we need? I to don't do? fucking know. All right. Look, nobody fucking knew. They fucking knew. No, they nobody didn't. knows what was up there. Nobody knows what was up there. Nope. That's the mystery. They heard our podcasts. That's a mystery. <laughs> Nobody knows. All right. All right. Jack Ripley. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Either one of y'all see or heard about the Juggalo YouTubers hammer fight on live stream? Nope. Hammer fight? No. So fight with hammers? Fight with hammers? That's pretty violent. They do that shit in like Russia, though. Yeah, like, yeah, I know that's like big, but like that was like their jackass back in the day. Like they like beat bums in the heads with hammers and shit. And like, oh, that's... like bum fights, but with hammers, but just fuck them up. Yeah, it was like on the like, on the like, head they hit them, or like on the knees and elbows. No, I, there was definitely a couple that probably were killed on camera. Yeah, that was, but that was like when I was in high school. Yeah, it was like videotapes. Like yeah, bum those like and snuff shit. films and bum shit fights like was big when you were in mm-hmm. high school, right? Yep. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, not, bum fights is pussy that, shit compared to what they do in Russia, though. That shit was. Like, fucking, what the fuck? Like, when yeah. they started kidnapping bums and taping them up like the bum hunter, 
Th- that's why that, I was like, yeah, yo. They, like, yeah. like I didn't even want to watch. I was like, yo, no, this no, ain't no, even I'm cool no more, man. Right. That's 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 just fucking straight up. These this must bitch, how terrified you must be. Yeah, being a bum, you're already a fucking bum. Life's already threw shit at you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sleeping. And then you just get walk over with a flashlight in your face. Probably thinks the police. Next thing you know, you're duct taped up in the back of a van. Mm. What the fuck? You know? Oh, I know. He's just looking. I at hear food. something. I hear something ruffling over He's there. He's like a dog. If you shake oh, a bag, it comes. Oh, look at that bag! Look how big that bag is, dude. You can do the Divian. You can do it. They call me Divian Boy. You can do the Pac Man. That was a cereal commercial back in the day. The Pac Man cereal. You can do it. You can do the Pac Man. We got one with just chili, boys. We got one with just chili. Woo! We got two with just chili. All right. We got Burt Cocaine. Uh huh. Did you know you can breathe through your butt? Google it. I'm not Googling it. Now we're about to eat. I'm not Googling breathing through your butt. I don't need it. I'll take your word for it. Because Ooh. you technically you could. If you think about it, you yeah. could put a straw. Ooh, oh, like it had to be like a flex, very flexible straw, but you can put a straw up your asshole and feed it through all your intestines, right? Okay. Up through your stomach, through your esophagus. Okay, have it come out your mouth and go back down into your lungs to the other hole in your neck. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Is that one? Which one's mine? You just throw it. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that way. Wait, how'd that still be breathing through your asshole? No, I don't know how that happened. Yeah, well, I guess it's entering through there. Check well, your asshole had to go be connected to your lungs somehow. That's where I was going with Anybody it. Anybody need a fork? Yeah, no. Oh, I need I some uh, Napicano. Napicano? Uh, the Drone Ninja, Keegan, the Simp, and Shaggy Two Dope in the Ha. You know what I'm saying? What? Oh, yeah. There's a whole thing now. I don't think it's wow. YouTube, though. There's a bunch of words you can't say, like on TikTok, it's about to be Twitch, and probably going to spread from there. It's a uh, simp. You can't say simp no more. You can't say virgin. Uh, some neck right word or some shit. I forgot what it was, but it means like you're a celibate virgin or something. Um, I don't know. There's a couple more. It's fucking ridiculous, though. Yeah, but so I, we were going you over can't those. Say simp? Simp. What the fuck? Oh, spaz is going to be the next one, too. They're gonna, they're gonna spaz? spaz? You can't say virgin. You can't say incel is what it was. We're not we're not enforcing that rule here on the Palcast. No, we're not. I was saying it like crazy. Spaz, come I, on, I, man. I already went over it. I already went over it. Good save. Ho, ho, ho! Good save. The weight was different when a bike took an out of it. Hold it over the table. You're scaring me, man. All right, look, man. You're going down and get fucking one star already. Not because it's almost flipped out of my hand. It flipped out of my hand because I was shocked by the hot dog. Good or bad? It's an all beef hot dog with no skin on it. What's up? You know what I'm talking about, man? It's kosher, bro. What yeah, it is kosher. Is Why? Are you going to a kosher place? You want some uh, lettuce and cucumbers? No. I'll eat my fucking beef piece of shit. These chicken wings don't look that great, but. It's like, I don't mind beef hot dogs, but let me let, let me know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I like putting hot uh, ketchup on. God damn. I'm over you here. You get it all over you? No, I'm over here like a fucking. I'm about to get kidnapped by the bum fighters. <laughs> <laughs> wow, now maybe I could eat this like a, a normal person and not like a fucking savage idiot. Mm. Man, I feel wet spots on my elbows and shit. It's probably chilly. <laughs> What else would be wet? You don't like these kind of chicken wings, too, because it's a bone? Mm-mm. Gotcha. What, that bubble or chicken wing? They're just chicken wings, but they got the bone in them. No, not for me. No? Mm-mm. All right. God damn it. Uh-oh. A lot of dead air, boys. Now it's... Oh, there it goes. Well, you know, dead air happens when you're... Uh, it's not. I'm asmr Yeah, right, right. Oh, uh, John Castro... Candy the Clown had a baby. Oh, hell yeah. Well, congratulations, Candy the Clown. Congrats. Okay. <laughs> Little baby. Oh. Bringing a baby into the world. Uh-huh. Got to be a beautiful feeling. <laughs> Sometimes I just go to the hospital. I walk up and down them hallways, dude, looking in like, those people are bringing a baby into this world. We don't let you on that floor if you don't have a baby there. Well, I lie, and I say I do. <laughs> say my mother's, well, the mother of my child's up there, and... I need to see what the hell is going on up there. Go to the Nick U. 
but sat. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know someday. Well, hopefully you don't know someday. That's where you put the babies when they're not doing so on the board. Oh, really? A couple of my kids were in it for a couple of days. I, I think I was. I had to... Um, like when I was born, that's why I got that, that scar. They had to fly me to another hospital and do some kind they of like for a unit. heart thing. I did, I was a whole ass unit though. You know what I'm saying? What a small unit. No, I was a big unit. Yeah, what small They took unit? me to big U. But with a small U. What a small unit. Small baby, big unit. I thought it was Took a lot of people to fucking revive me. You know what Bushwick Bill said about his penis all the time? Hmm. Large things come in very small packages. Unfortunately, he wore giant pants. <laughs> he wasn't talking about himself. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> the fuck that was. Super scissor in the motherfucking house. Uh, shout out to all the pals in the chat. Pal yeah. Pal yeah. Eddie Gritch. New pal scription. Let's go, baby. Mm. Mm. There it is. Two ten kicks. Two month member. Pelscription. Mm. Speaking of new fucking parent founder, he's uh he's a new dad as well. Two oh, ten kicks. So shout out congrats. you, man. Have you watched the uh, Aeronauts Star Wars dub yet? No, I haven't. Two ten kicks. I'm sorry. Don't have much time to watch TV. I'm trying. But actually, I always. That's another about... new Star Wars show. No, I don't know what the fuck it oh. is. But uh, he uh, I said I would before. When he brought it up, and I just forget every time until he brings it up again. New update today, Fortnite. Dude, Darth Vader dropped in the map. I don't care. He now flies around. He's, he's stormtroopers protect him. Don't care. He can throw his lightsaber. Oh, he he's got the lightsaber that he can throw too. Well, he's the only one that he, the only one that can do it. That's not impressive. It, it, it is. He does that in the movies. But that they get there. It's true to the canon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe my mouth like a rich person. And he can force choke you from across the map. No, he can't. Yes, he can. No, he can't. He'll pull you in. No, he can't. And he'll choke you. No, he can't. He choked me. <laughs> what is dick? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Got some cheese on us, bitch. Tell it you. I told you I got any cheese, baby. I wasn't fucking... Mm. I had extra cheese, too. You did not fuck around. Mm-mm. Uh, Easy to stir. New pal. Scription. Mm. Oh my god, back and forth? Easy to stir. Oh. New Don't. prescription. Mm. Robert Schimmel Sanders. Wasn't Robert Schimmel a comedian? <laughs> no, but Robert Schimmel Sanders, his name no, well, I'm was my name too. Colonel. Colonel's, Colonel's Whenever cousin. I go out, <laughs> people always shout. God damn that song. There goes Robert Schimmel Sanders. I'm a Schmidt. Hold on, Robert Schimmel Schimmel's Simer Schmidt. Oh. A like John Jacob Jingle. Yeah. Robert Schimmel Schimmel. Look at Holy John Jacob Jingle. Well, Heimer Schmidt. Yeah, Heimer Schmidt. What's this? It must be German. One day I'm, I'm going to look the story up behind that song. Like, what the fuck? Who was that guy? Why don't we just Google it right now? Yeah, you want to Google it now while we're eating? Sure. Uh, anyhow, he says Can Mr. Rotten Treats and Hell Kogan appear again on the Gathering Pale Cast? Oh, shit. From the, uh, from the, um... Costume contest. Yeah, Pell's costume contest. No. Here's a story of John <laughs> Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Uh-huh. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt is a traditional children's song that originates from the United States and Canada. Oh, and Canada. The song consists of one verse repeated usually four times, each time increasing or decreasing in volume or tempo. Hmm. Uh, if the volume is lowered, the last line da 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 often remains constant. Well, okay. Shouted even as the rest of the song is reduced to a whisper. The origin. This is what I want. Yeah. While the origins of the song are obscure, ah, some fuck. evidence places its roots with. Is there salt? Vaudeville and. Vaudeville. Yeah. Salt-free right. zone, bro. Oh yeah, salt-free. Oh. No right. sodium on this bitch. You guys want any sodium around here? Uh, the story's kind of boring. Or just, just do a book report on it real quick. What was it? Um, what do we got? Uh, the work of Joe Weber. Law fields often have a voice to share frustrations. German-American immigrants. What? And heavily leaned on mal- uh, malapropisms. 
and difficulties with English language as a vehicle of, for their humor. So they were making fun of people? Well, you know the song, um, what is it, Yankee Doodle Dandy, right? Huh? Yeah. Like that, them lyrics are all fucking weird, and they mean weird shit. Like, what is it, uh, how's the Yankee Doodle Dandy? He stuck a feather in his hat and called hmm. it macaroni. macaroni. So macaroni back in the day meant fancy. So this guy was sticking a feather in his head. Yankee Doodle Dandy is making fun out the motherfucker. So he's sticking a feather in his hat and calling him macaroni. Really, he's a fucking bum ass dude sticking a feather in his hat and purping like it's like wearing a fucking bootleg Gucci shirt. Basically, he's playing himself him. out. How's the beginning of that song go? Awesome. Yankee Doodle wanted the child oh, riding on a pony, pony, stuck a feather in his hat and called him macaroni. That's it. Yeah. Is, that even, talk, is that even a fucking song? How is that considered yeah, a song? Sure. It's two lines. Can two lines be a song? I think that's a jingle, no? The old fucking uh, macaroni song? Hey, macaroni. Are you getting some salt? Yeah, I'm getting it. All right. We got Owl Night 32. New podcast member. Mm. Those are pretty fucking good. Making up for that hot dog. BTL 166. Congratulations on the house, Keeks. Big boy moves. Let's go, baby. I heard that only people with big penises do that. Shaker what is. the fuck? You trying to murder me? <laughs> I don't know where the shakers are, but that's straight from the tap. We got some shifters on shakingcreepshop.com. But do we have salt and pepper shakers? I shake what my mama gave me. Shake it like that. No slow. Get it on that side. Go ahead and move it over. You gotta, you gotta really powder the fucking uh, yes. hash brown. You pepper it. That, that song, that, that song, that salt really melts into the potato juice, making it, uh, it, it kind of like zeroes it out. You know what I'm saying? It like neutralizes it. Yeah. You put a little bit of salt on hash browns, you ain't tasting shit. You gotta okay. really douse some fucking things with salt. Mm-hmm. This guy knows what I'm talking about. All right. Mmm. We're done with the fucking shits. Caught up? Yeah. You sure are. You think it's a bad time to look in uh-huh. what you brought with you? Mm-hmm. What'd you do for Father's Day? You had a barbecue? Hung out with my dad. You got to play any games? We haven't, we've not we been, like, working on the house so much mm-hmm. that, like, every time I see him, it's just always been work and... Bitching at each other because you're working? Yep, yep, exactly. Um, so I was like, fuck it, man. We'll have a good Father's Day barbecue. Bring him to the new place, work free zone. But he was doing the dad thing. You, looking at everything that was wrong. Oh, looking at the how oh, we gotta fix that. Oh, we gotta do that. Oh, this is shit. <laughs> well, it's good at least you got somebody over to do that. Right. So I don't have that. You can't, I got you can't stop paid, a dad from doing that. I got people that I pay to come over and look at those problems and be like, ooh, yeah, that's gonna cost you a fucking lot. Oh, we'll probably never get it done too, just like the rest of your house. Oh, you paid us this much money for that? Yeah, that'll probably never get done too. Oh, but we want our money. Yeah, we want our money soon. No, that's not how it works. I'd love to have your dad working on my house. <laughs> it would actually be done probably by now. One guy. <laughs> so yeah. Any good updates with with your house construction? I wish I had an update. No update yet. <laughs> nope. Okay. The update is they came <laughs> half a day in house <laughs> like two weeks ago. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man! Yeah, it was awesome working with these guys. Yeah. But what about uh, what about your Father's Day? Would you, would you guys arrive just out on the lake? Not only the best Father's Day I've ever had, mm-hmm. just one of the most relaxing days I've right. had this year. Yeah. So far. I've well, had some pretty relaxing days this year. Yeah, that's what was cool. Is like my dad, like, he's a very fucking cut and dry. No, like, we don't ever have, like, Big father son moments, right, you know. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's just that kind of guy. Just get to work, meet up at a restaurant, yeah, hey, and then go back home. That's it. So he texted me like after, like, "Wow, that's that was actually really dope today." So I was like, "For me, I'm like, whoa, I never, right. yeah, you know what I'm saying?" Like he sent like really nice texts, well, you know, for you. which is good. So it was a really good day. That's what I, I was saying. I'm like, warm. yeah, I was like, "Fuck yeah, man, this is uh, really awesome." So Look we had a good, good Father's Day. Sold the house. We, we almost have one little. Well, that's just father, you know, father uh, stuff. But I was cooking the steaks, and I had the fucking. You know, it's like dad's coming over. He used to cook the steaks, so it was to me. It was like dad. And try to bump you up. I'm barbecuing. I, I'm grilling out today. This, right. This, I'm the man of the house. Right. I got you. Relax. Here's a beer. You know. Oh wait. What if? What if you were a non-denominational sexual orientation? <laughs> 
Yeah, so what, what are the house? You'd be the day of the house. So I'm out in the back, you know. He just walks out, walks out the back door, cracks a beer, and I'm putting the steaks on the grill, you know. And um, it's like when you're a kid, he got me this like fucking thing for I think Christmas. It's like a, a little thermometer meat checker, you know. I so know. I was like. I'll go open it and use it for the first time for Father's Day, right? Just get a little little razzle for him. Come back out, fucking grill, flames coming up. I open it, the steaks are charred. He's like, pull the fucking things off the grill. I'm like, shit, I just wanted a good moment of using this thermometer, and now they're burnt to fuck. Hey, what the fuck you need that for? And I'm like yelling back. I'm like, I don't got nothing to put them on. It's only only been on here for like fucking three minutes. Charcoal but- boy? No, if it was propane, oh, but the it was dripping, caught on fire. A lot of the yeah, sh- yeah. a lot of the shit was dripping, and then I had the corn on the top. And you want to keep the steaks on the top too. top rack, right? And I, that's like where that. I fucked up. I was like, my, I'm putting my corn up top, right? Because that takes a little long. Oh, that's why the butter and down. juices were leaking down into the fire. That shit was fucking. Let me ask scolding. you this: When was the last time you had a piece of ham? Whoa, the piece of bacon that's... going out of it, or is that the ham skin? It's got to be the skin tag from the pig. Oh, the pig tag. <laughs> ham is so delicious. I love ham. I love pork. God. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. I'm so happy I'm not Muslim Dude, or like Jewish bacon, or whatever else can eat pork or whatever ham, the fuck. Ham, sausage. Mm. It's so good. And it's the filthiest animal. I'm not I don't big, care, dog. I don't I'm give not, a fuck what the waddles were on and shit. I don't care. It's inside. Oh, I don't give a fuck about that. It's all salty for no reason. Yes. How good is that? This pig wants to hit. No, pigs are mean. They are. That's why it's so salty. Fair enough. You think they're nice and sweet. They're not. No, they eat you. We just talked about this, didn't we? We did. I don't know if it was on air or something. Yeah, I had to have been. I think it was on Friday. Why mm. you eat meat? Pigs? Oh, yeah, because they'll eat fucking bones clean. That's right. It was Friday, mm-hmm. you were telling them. Now we'll switch it up to a different color of pig. Mm-hmm. A bacon piece. You know what I'm saying? These are Out of good. the three, gun to your head, what's your favorite? Bacon. I'm saying, love bacon. Without a doubt. Mm-hmm. Sausage is. Sausage is out Sausage of the is my least. So- but mm. bacon, ham, sausage. Mm. Bacon, sausage, ham. Really? Mm. That's about a movie. But definitely patties before links. That's sausage. Gotcha. What about you? Um, I kind of burnt out on links because of what we did back then. Yeah, I, I. Actually. I guess I would I would go links right now. Really? It fluctuates though. Would you want a link? No, I don't. Sausage is the one that really gives me heartburn. Mm. God, could it put a little fucking spice like the in seasonings there. and yeah. shit, right? No, it's not hot, but it's just a seasoning. Yeah, for they can make like some hot sausage. Mm-hmm. I fucking hot love links, it. dude. Not that kind of sausage. No, I know, but sausage. I'm just saying, dude, they can make them. Yeah, they make them. little Smokies hot links. Mm-hmm. I don't like hot links that much. I'm like, I like the fucking little Vienna sausage boys. Mm-hmm. Like on a holiday when somebody's got those boiling and some barbecue sauce or something on the kitchen table. I think the last time I've had that, within the only time I've had it within years, was at your house. You guys had it on a spread one day with the little toothpicks, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to front. I was fucking going. I think Renee noticed because I think she sent me home with some that day. But I was like, I wasn't trying to be you a got, fat piece you got of him shit. Throughout the a bottle though, you gotta get him right from the source. Yeah, I was just liking him too much, and I, nobody was really going for him. Yeah. So I was like, I'll stick there, and I think she was watching. She's like, you want to take some home? And I was like, I, I do. I'm not gonna lie, I do want to take some home. <laughs> you know, in the same spread, you have like some little meatballs and some kind of good ass gravy. You know, like, why don't I just have a whole plate of these motherfuckers? Mm-hmm. Why it's gotta be a little finger food? Bit? Exactly. You can make a meal out of that shit. Mm-hmm. No, these are some other kind of whatever the fuck in the other one. Mm-hmm. All right, so. Gosh damn, boy, you got, got a lot one. of food. No, oh, I was hungry. What? Oh, Josh said we got one in. Super got Chat one came one. in. Oh, oh, shit. Hot one up the press. Hot one. Hot, hot. hot one up the press. Hot boy. Hot I, didn't know, I didn't know we were waiting on him. My mm-hmm. bad. Uh, I, I Moneymaker, 1369. Ooh, Ooh Moneymaker. That's an unlucky 69 right there. So he opened his eyes up and it was a duty it was 69 with. That's why I made his money. That's a very uh, tough predicament to be in if you're not a fan of sucking dick. <laughs> right. Just move it out the way. Wait, what is this? I'm looking for a Ned. Why does it got a dick in Get here? Get this the fuck out of the way. What, is it somebody fucking her at the same time? What's going on? Just <laughs> wave it out your face. I have their balls in the mix. Get them out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, money maker. 
Money Maker 1369. They are lucky 69. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, pals. Only 43 days left in the gathering. Can I get a big shout out to my fiance whose birthday is Friday? Ooh! Much love to everyone. Shout out to Money Maker 1369's fiance. Happy early birthday to, to you. It's Miss Moneymaker. Miss Money. Yeah. Miss Moneymaker. Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Max Osborne. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to polish these off, and then maybe we'll get to see what's going on. In your bag? In my traveling companion case. Mm-hmm. Ah. You like cucumber? Mm-mm. No. I'm just trying to kill these so I can hurry up and do it. I'm admiring your technique right now. You saw my belly got big. No, the camera angle. I'm just, I'm, I was just watching that, dude. That was, <laughs> that was majestic. Watching you wolf down hash browns. Don't make me jump to death. This one's dry. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to palm your salt on him today, too. Uh, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> that was a maneuver I used to call in college, the salty palmer. Oh man. Okay. Um, we're good. I'm looking around for nothing. No, you're good, man. Mm. You still got some meats to go. No, I'm probably just gonna eat the bacon. I'm not gonna front that. That ham just ain't looking great. Well, I went very in, stiff. I went into the ham not as hungry. Okay. It wasn't my first thought because I had already eaten a fucking whole three scrambled egg boy. Mm-hmm. I have a hash brown and a chili dog before I got to the ham. Yeah. So if you're going hungry, that's your bet right there. It's the way to go. I'm gonna leave full. <laughs> yeah. Just All right. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So you want to tip off the next segment or what? Yeah. Um. Man. It's been a long day. Mm-hmm. Been gone for a while. Yeah. Who knows where you've been these Hold last on. couple of weeks? Okay. I just looked down. Sorry. Johnny Castle says, I love styrofoam. What does that do for you? Isn't that like a weird thing? Like some people like to like make ASMR like noises out of it? I don't know. It? Just tell me your take on that. So, I mean, it's just styro- It doesn't do nothing for me. I, I don't like it. I don't hate it. I hate styrofoam. Really? The feel With or the passion. noise or what is it? Everything about it. What I hate the worst is... I don't hate this styrofoam so much. Mm. The shit that comes apart in Oh, bulk. that sucks. It's even, static. It sticks to you, your clothes. Even if just one ball comes off, I get so fucking pissed off. Yeah. I hate styrofoam so bad, dog. I when hate it, that stuff. When I when, when I open a box up that got delivered, it's got like that a thin styrofoam mm-hmm. on top. Like I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Fuck this box. Yep. And it's Man. already broken and you're seeing yeah. the shards in it's there. It's already loose in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you open the wind's going to take some out. <laughs> yeah, whisper. fair. I don't like that, but yeah, okay, I know so, like some people can't touch it or things I don't, like that. I fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck I just them. hate fuck styrofoam. Sorry, mm-hmm. Nick Castro. Um. So yeah, it's been a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure you've been to places, you've seen things, you've probably gathered a couple things across your travels. Yeah, they call me Gulliver now and then. You care to oh. show what maybe you talking about this puppy, this bag. What's in Shaggy's bag? What a wonderful fucking section. Oh. <coughs> My salad came hot. That's and I just want in lettuce. The bag. Yeah. Put that in the fridge for later. Hot salad, huh? That sounds like something you say when you're excited. Hot salad. Hot salad. We got another one, you're boys. Like, hot dog. Hot Salad. That's actually what we all yell as a team when a new order comes in at Shaggy and the Creep. Hot salad. Hot salad. We got another jersey going out, boys. <laughs> uh, uh, so, this week's pretty simple. I found this in my bag and it was pretty remarkable. I, th- I think it's for you. Whoa. <laughs> what does it say? It says to my dearest pal, Keegan, from your pal, Shags. And handwriting that looks similar to mine. Wow. See, we've we've synced up our periods. Okay, another one's in here. Oh yeah, that's was the real oh, content. Boy. Feels like a crack rock <laughs> rolled in a tight piece of tissue. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is it a note? Or is it be good? <laughs> My hands are all greasy from the chicken wings, so. No. <laughs> it had to. Ha- it had to. I don't want to read it. It had to happen. Someday. I don't want to read it. This is bad. Well, when you read it, that's not bad. No, <laughs> that's great. And as soon as you read it, I'll tell you why. Okay. The note reads. What the fuck you got on Google over there? Oh, them kids singing Jenkle Drummer Hitch. <clears throat> Jenglimer itch. Oh boy, John Jenglimer itch. I know I fuck up at first, so I just go with it. It's like a just, medical condition. I try to steer my mouth back to the normal shit, and it just, you know, it just doesn't catch on. Like I know it's fucked up coming out, but I'm trying to steer it back, and it's just not working. The old Jenglimer itch. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last. What's in Shaggy's bag? Ah. Uh, Read it. I just did. Read it. This is oh, yeah. the last what's in Shaggy's oh, bag. Okay. I missed yeah, something. Those it's very, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those verbatim. Yeah. Well, look at it like this. Wow. I wasn't ready for that, man. I don't match it all today. Do I? No, you do. Woo, we'll any any that. Shaggy in the Creep merch you wear will match with anything you well, wear. I know that. It matches yeah. my eyes, yeah. if anything. But uh, yeah, I think it's ran its course. And um, you know what? We've been hyping a change coming up, and I think that that's my first step out of this uh, cocoon, if you will, into our butterfly phase. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And that's the first step that I think I have to make a shake. What's up? Uh, uh, I, I gotta, I gotta come with new segments. I'm just gonna tell I you right now, yourself. chat's not happy. And on top of that. They're not There's just nothing left in my fucking bag, man. I'm searching <laughs> high and low for shit for my bag. I can't make. This is. Gonna I had great. a feeling you were running low when you pulled well, out the middle finger one day. I think. <laughs> well, I found this in my bag. Wait, what do you, what'd you think about that? That's where it's going next. You know what I'm saying? Oh man. Yeah. Um. I mean, it was a good two year run, though. I don't think it was a full two years, but yeah. Pretty it was much, a lot. because it, the, the segment started pretty early. It started. So I think your first segment was the Sizz on Hot Boys. <laughs> yeah, that started like almost immediately off the bat. Because we were still in quarantine when I did that. And that flopped pretty quick. And I'm, then just, I'm, back, not gonna, I'm not going to say I'm excited. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm to it every week. Maybe it'll be revisited in the future. I don't know. But it needs a break. It definitely needs a break. And we need to look to the future. Let me ask you this. Yeah. The Is fuck? there any plans to substitute that with anything else? No. Okay. That's really <laughs> I, mean, that's, I, come up I, I was going to try to hype up the new segment. I come maybe up with absolutely nothing okay. to replace it with. But that's okay because we got big plans on the horizon. We do. And we we're do. not going to need what's in my bag so much. We, yeah. We're not going to need to lean on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody's bummed, but I'm telling you, it's going somewhere. It, like I said, it's shedding the old skin, man. It's going forward and fucking up. That's right. Yeah, I like that. Antic says change is scary. It is. It is. I know. You're used to what's in my bag. You're used to yeah. it. You're like, oh, it's a comfort. What thing. do we do when we can't depend upon what's on my what's in my bag every People week? People look forward to it, man. Well, every they week. depend upon it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your bag's a hot commodity. Right. And I I understand pulling that rug out from under you like that is is gonna affect your life in a deep way. You know what I'm you saying? You know what? But I'd, I'd rather you do it that I, way. And just cut us cold That's turkey. what I'm saying. Pull the band-aid off. You know what I'm saying? Get because it out of there. I could come with shittier objects every week until it gets played out. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, rock stars fucking burn out. They don't fizzle out. Is right. that how it goes? So your segment burned out? So I'm like a Jimmy Hedrick's a Janis Joplin, a fucking, uh, what's the guy that choked himself where he was jacking off all over? I'm like those guys. You know uh, what I'm saying? Carradine? Well, there's a few of them. Yeah. No, not David Carradine. He was old as shit. G.G. Allen. That was a fucking Kung Fu show guy. Kung Fu show. <laughs> yeah, David Carradine. He was in that movie, the show Kung Fu back in the day. Were you thinking of playing? I thought you were talking about Kill Bill, so yeah, you got me there. Go, uh, Google the, the television show Kung Fu. He's yeah, bald, yeah. and he tried to make, they were supposed to be a Chinese guy, but clearly he's Bruce not. Lee. Yeah, originally, Bruce Lee was supposed to have that part, but they settled for David Carradine instead. <laughs> <laughs> what a sweet replacement, some cowboy. Boy, New Era Hippies. Yeah, uh, see that black and white? There it is, Kung Fu. There's the poster for it. New Era Hippies That's says the you, you got to burn the bag. I'm not burning it. I still need to carry shit around in my real life. 
know what I'm saying? Maybe if I get a different one, I'll burn it. I don't know. Why would I burn it anyhow? It's, it's kind of like a, it's 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 a the only way I'm burning this bag. Of letting it go. The only way I'm burning this fucker. Yeah, put that on there. That's David Carradine acting like he's a Chinese kung fu guy. Whoa, that you can get that photo for seven eighty. So does he look Chinese to you? That's how awesome TV used to be back. They passed wow. him off as Chinese. <laughs> wow. How great was TV? Well, he had a shiny robe on, so that's cool. That's a that's a great <laughs> robe, actually. Yeah, he did uh, die choking himself out, jacking off, didn't he? Yep. Who'd have thunk back then when he was on the set of Kung Fu? That's an intense fucking masturbation session. It must be if you die Dude, over the it. fucking... How do you do it? Just like this? They, this is how they die. Or do they do the thing around their they, neck? They, like, what they do is this. They'll go on their knees, and the, I, I looked this up, because it's like, why, how the fuck? Why? But you put a belt around your neck, and you're like, I, I guess like you double belt it or something. You put it around like the handle, and then you just go on your you knees. Lean you forward? lean forward? The problem is, people wait too late, and they pass out, and they end up... Dying because they're not breathing. Oh my goodness! <laughs> because jacking off feels so good when you're so about to pass kinda out. So it's kind of like fucking like it's jacking your neck off while you're jacking your dick off. It's choking your neck out while you're we choking choke your, your dick, dick out. <laughs> yeah, that's like double choke. Right, dude. it's like choking your neck while you're choking your monkey. Man, <laughs> yeah, how fucking crazy, huh? That's yeah, that's that's nuts. But yeah, that's, so that's what was in my bag. What's in Shaggy's bag? David Carradine. What a wonderful. I don't think we could have closed it out a better way. No, I mean, hey, I mean, closed hey, it out we, with some Shaggy's bag with David Carradine. Thank God he didn't have a belt in there. Right. What if I would have pulled out a little figure of David Carradine? You would have known what the fuck. With the little belts around his neck. And I just happened to be in there. I had nothing to do with it. Damn, what a way to go, dude. Yeah, you think? Like at the funeral, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, people, I really oh, like, my God. Like He probably closed caskets and we had to look at him in the face. Damn, David. <laughs> you just had to crank that one out? Dave. Fuck. Fucking Dave. Classic Dave. Classic Dave. We always said it. <laughs> right. You know? You saw it coming. You talked about how great it was. If you someone's going to go out with a belt around their neck, it's going to be Dave. Dave, you got to stop doing it, we said. <laughs> He said no. It felt too he good. He said it feels <laughs> too if, if, good. He's like, if you tried it, you'd understand. Dude, imagine masturbating to death. So if you try it with somebody in the room the first time to know when to not Man, to I, stop or start, like, I feel like you. That's one of those things you got to know your wanna, body. I kind of want to do it supervised, you know right? Yeah, saying? you just got to just to see what the fuck. Like you go to the gym, you got a spotter, right? You get a spotter for your fucking arachnic angst fix or whatever it's called. And they don't got to do nothing. It could be Manny just checking his whoa, Facebook. Whoa, right. whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, you're just in the room checking your, your Facebook. Turn. You just look over. You're not helping dead. him. You're, you're just making sure, like, hey. it. you're just making sure I'm not dead. Yeah, you right. You're right. All right, cool. All right, he's moving. He's good. That's all. You don't mind the pleasure, man. Yeah. He's making an uh sound. Why am I over there? <laughs> yeah, he's making an uh. Why am I over there? Uh, well, that's just me, man. Well, no, I'm looking back over there, too. <laughs> Something's going on over there. Is that what's going cool down? Looking. Yeah. <laughs> right in my Do you ever wonder room? what goes on in this area? That's Keegan's uh, place. That's where I Autorado asphyxiate myself. <laughs> it's our pre show. And then make sure I don't die. Yeah. <laughs> he don't get into it. I mean, he's he doesn't help me. He just makes sure I don't die. <laughs> Hold on. What if what if like you're? He's only had this pull belt off. Like what once. if you're spotting him and you're like, F- is he? Like the process of going over there to wake him up. What do you? Well, I think once you're like, what? that means wake him up. Because you could choke yourself yeah. out and you pass out. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you don't wake up because you're still choking <laughs> with a belt. You know what I'm saying? Your unconscious self thinks you're cool. Oh my. He's like, oh, this feels cool, man. I'm still nutting. But then you wake up in heaven. That's exactly what I say when I'm not. And I'm like, whoa, this feels cool. <laughs> Fair enough. How can I make this better? Yeah, wow. Myself? Well, you're already feeling that because you're dead. You're jacking up to your dead. Yeah. Feels real cool. David Carradine, guys. I'm never, ever playing What's That Smell. No. Because my nose is too sensitive to Too sensitive. Shit. Too sensitive? Too sensitive. Holy fuck. It's already 10 o'clock. Well, we started late. I know, but not that late. Here, you get your jacket on. I'm going to go pee-pees before I pee my pants. Okay. Well, I'll wait till you get up on there. So I says to the fella, I says, hey, fella, we got that's not boys? my wife. That's a duck. Bottle? What? Got any boys? Because I can't see them. Got any what? Any boys. In the ketchup bottle? We got to catch up on any boys. Oh. Yeah. I think it's about a ketchup hard, bottle. I, I, oh. I, my hearing's getting worse and worse. My eyes are going downhill. This is a bad sitch. Uh, the Zorgatron... 
Sup, pals? Come on. Oh, I got that one. Oh, no. Can my girl Mar- Marcella get a birthday shout out? Hell yeah. What? Uh, birthday shout out to Marcel. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, BTL 166. Uh, what's in Shaggy's Chad? What a wonderful segment. You don't want to see what's in my no, chat. No, no, no. It's no, probably no. like a fucking uh, ingrown hair and like, like a, a grease pimple, probably. Right. Yeah, maybe a fucking crab. A wood tick. A wood tick, yeah. With the deer disease. Uh, Shangri-La. Oh, three month palscription. Uh, oh, there it is. Pal, yeah. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Thanks for all the What's in Shaggy's Bags memories, guys. Maybe I'll compile them and we'll put them out on YouTube. Yeah. That'd be your, a cool little Your top fucking... five, your faves. No, we'll just fucking put them back, all of them. back to back. Edit them down so they're not 40 minutes long like they usually are. <sighs> Sometimes there's a, lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of tangents in those boys. Yeah. We just take those out. Get to the meat and potatoes. Like, do you think that David Carradine would make the cut or just me reading the paper? David Carradine might make it. Okay, he might. See, that's, that's what I'm saying. We're talking a life and death situation. Right, man, yeah. You know? He died for that. He died, right. We got The it. least we could do. And it's an honorable mention. He died for. <laughs> he died for our sins. He died for our show. Oh, God. What are you about to do? Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's, like he said, it's getting pretty late. The segment, it just feels half-hearted today. Feels Why? a little, just a little empty. Because I usually feed off of... The what's in the bag segment, and that Damn. gives me energy. You know why I'm doing it, news. though. I know. I know. I just wasn't ready. Sorry, I you should have had saying? a meeting. It's it's kind of like you're you're having a problem with a loved one, and and you know you guys are gonna have to say goodbye, and it's gonna have to be the end of the relationship. But you can still see what's in my bag on the weekends. Fight for it. You can go visit what's in my bag on the weekends. Think so? Maybe like uh, maybe we'll like see. every other weekend, uh, supervised visitation. Okay. What yeah. if? Hear me out. What if the Palaholics occasionally get to peek into your bag? There you go. Oh. Now Josh is talking. That will give me better content for what's in my bag. That's true. Yes, you Palaholics are now exclusively going to get to see what's in Shaggy's bag. There. We like that. What yeah. What are you thinking, Josh? You guys give Josh a GG. Uh, give him a GG, Allen. No, don't give him one. No, 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 no. Just don't a normal GG. You don't want to give yeah, him a GG, no, Allen. No, 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 that no. involves poop, pee, and blood, and spit, and cum. A lot of fucking bodily fluid. Every bodily fluid you can imagine, it involves that. Don't you fucking, like, poop when you die? So you think David Carradine, like, kind of pooped himself after he fucking... Well, yeah, because... Dude, imagine taking a every, shit while you nut. The thing is... Dude. Ugh. Well, just think, some shits feel good. Not like that. The <laughs> if, that. if you're fucking shitting and nutting, dude... That's crazy. You might like to get fucked in the butt, my friend. No, that's not fucking... Dude, that's shitting, like it, no? shitting is pushing something out of your butt. But then just put it back in and relive the moment of it coming back Wait, out. No, put it back in, relive the, the moment poop, of coming back you out. You put the poop back in your butt. Like, you might like it. Dude, I'm poop. saying I'm replacing sometimes poop you with take a, a fucking great shit just, and it feels good. Yeah, because you don't want it in your body no more. So it like, gets you a boner? No, I'm not saying when I poop I get a boner. You said it feels good. So I'm, I'm just wondering. saying, you've never, I've never pooped while I fucking nutted. That would be a so I can't fucking Me speak on, is it good it or would, bad? No, you're, you're like, oh. Think about it. I am, and it's making me disgusted. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. You know me, dog. I don't like poop. <laughs> From nobody. I don't like poop Including either. myself, dog. If I get a little poop on my thumb when I'm wiping my ass, it's like a five-star <laughs> alarm, dog. It's like a fucking big deal. You know what I'm saying? It's a big Dude, fuck in my whole house. It, when there's fucking poop on, on any finger when you're wiping your ass, it sucks. No, but I'm... Party's I'm, over. Dog, no. You don't understand. Like, everybody gets involved. This is a thing. <laughs> I don't like poop. We mean everybody gets involved. Don't worry about what happens in my house. <laughs> Just saying, I don't like poop. Drop it, okay? All right. Enough <laughs> of the poop play, guys. It's fucking... Uh... 1010 can only mean one thing. It's time for the news. We actually got a heavy amount of news to say today. I'm going to save some of the big heavy hitters so he gets done pooping on his thumbs in there. We'll start off with twitch.tv slash shaggy and creep. Twitch.tv slash shaggy and creep. He fucking clapped, and I don't know how, because he said he was peeing. 
Maybe little fucking sketchy. Cheeks. Maybe holding it and I think getting the fingertips. Oh, the cheeks. He made his cheeks. You think he made his cheeks <laughs> clap? Maybe. He's in there twerking while he's peeing. There you go. To the to the <laughs> bathroom's not mic'd up. All right. Um, shit's going down this Friday, guys. As it always is, we're gonna have some uh, some fun things planned. But yes, like he said earlier, changes are on the horizon. You guys will know about them in the near future. But they're good changes. And yes, change is scary. Yes, sometimes it makes you miss things, but. If done right, change can be a wonderful thing. But just tune in Friday, twitch.tv slash shaggy and creep. You know, you already know the drill. If you're not watching there, I don't know what to tell you. Okay? It's always a good time. It's always a good party. You absolutely love to see it. Shows, ladies and gentlemen. We got some live shows coming up. You might know that the gathering of the Juggalos is about to pop off. What is that? Like fucking Four not next... Something. Yeah, 40-something days, somebody in the chat said. That's crazy. That's insane. Uh, we will be doing the fucking Palcast Live featuring a bar-ass hot dog eating competition where the winner will get a very unique fucking prize. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's not time to announce that yet. But be there at the gathering of dreams. We know it's your dream to be part of the audience when this monumental show goes down. It is. Wakes everybody up from it's their not, tents. It's not just a hot dog eating contest. It's a full-on live pell cast. Hot dog eating is a and portion of it. not just hot dogs. It's bar-ass hot dogs. Exactly. Bar-ass hot dogs. Only the finest for our pals. Only the finest for you fine pals out there. We got more live shows. You want to tell them about a couple more you got coming up? Um, no. No, he doesn't. <laughs> um, Why not? <coughs> um, one just passed. Did. Um, Friday, fucking you phenomenal. came on stage with me. That was very nice. I did, and I got I like, roasted by the you, Twitch chat. Did you for what? Because the audio. I was oh, from that's my phone. right. Yeah, because I was all. I was like, "Yo, we can do a little Twitch stream, yeah. live from stage." You know what I'm saying? They asked for it in the chat. I was like, "Fuck it, I'll go up there and do it." And then I just got berated with, "Oh, this hurts headphones users." Oh, fucking. Oh, because of the, it's the, so loud. The what, bass. The, he's got a phone on stage. What are you supposed what, to do? What do you want from me, guys? I'm just trying to fucking give you a little something. Well, next time, the, next time we won't do it. Uh, uh, you know, like what, uh, you know what I did? What? I took the power button, held it down for three seconds. Good for you. The party's over. Good for you. Good <laughs> you for want to you. cry at this party? As party's you should, over. Right. It's not your party. You can't cry if mm -hmm. you want to. No. You can go to fuck home. But shout out to everybody that, that didn't yell at me. I appreciate you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, another show. Did people like it? I didn't look or nothing. Like some people liked it. it Not many. No, no. It was most most people yelling at me. <laughs> this sound sucks. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what are you, a fucking this sound shit? Man? Put your finger over the microphone. So I'm like trying to put my finger over the mic, not get teasing <laughs> in front of the camera. I'm on stage. Everybody's getting there. hype and I'm worried about fucking the cell phone. You think my glass wants to fog up up there? You know? Yeah. Lenses. I'm getting, uh, dude, I was getting cool shots. I was doing like this by DJ Clay. Ooh. And I come up to you on stage and do this. Like, you just look really cool. You're doing you're doing your eyebrows. Yeah, just imagine oh, at home. You're, you're watching it. You're like, whoa, this is fucking Might wild. see me some drama mean. Yeah. Good. That's what I was going for. Um, you got some more shows coming up. We got graphics for you. Oh, yeah. Put the graphic open. I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, well, we have, uh, what is that? Oh, Tom Woods float. I can't see it from here. Yeah. Yes, which is going to be fucking awesome. I will be going on that Sunday on the float. I now know which day I'll be performing on, which will be yeah. Sunday evening. And uh, it's, it's going to be, be fucking fun. We can literally vouch for that. I can 100% yeah. vouch that if you go to the float, you, I'm going to go ahead and guarantee, unless you fucking get hurt or if you get too drunk or fucking trip out on some bad drugs, you will have a fucking awesome time. Yeah. No question in my mind. Mm -hmm. I'm about to go have a repeat and have a super duper awesome time with some juggalos this mm -hmm. time. Yeah, it's fucking awesome, man. It, it really is. <laughs> Um, yeah. Next show coming up. Oh, I'm looking down at something else. No, you're okay. Uh, what is that? Blue Ridge. Oh, the Blue Ridge Rock Festival, which is, uh, what's the date on that? September something? September 8th through the 11th. Se wow. Oh, so <laughs> 8th through 11th. I think but that you, we're playing on the Friday On night. that Friday. I think. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I heard through the wire. Just keep it locked in at Blue Ridge Festival. Blue Ridge Rock Festival? Ridge is that Rock what it is Festival. called? I think so, yeah. Okay, I guess we don't get an answer for that. <laughs> it was then, on the flyer. <laughs> it was on the flyer. They can see it at home. Right? <laughs> then we got in uh, the lethal weekend. End of August. End right. of August. End of August, which is August 26th, yep. or is it? 
Did I get that right? August yep. 26th? August 26th. You can catch me in New Hampshire. New Hampshire's. For, for Lethal Weekend 5. Um, this is the third time I've been on it. It's fucking great out there. Come on, check it out. You'll have a fucking... Uh, it's always a good time. Fantastic time. Yeah, it's, it's going to be great, a great, great time. Great. And then, uh, believe it or not, there actually is more in the works, possibly, coming what? up. What? And I'll keep you tuned in. And you got to keep it locked into the news, guys. Yeah. Gotta but there it. may be some more shows, uh, solo shows in the work coming up. Ooh. I got a big ass. Not a tour, but just some spot of shows here and there, you know? Right. Big dragonfly coming. Oh, he's on the floor now, but he was coming for your head. You got stuckled popcorn ceilings. I did it myself. I can tell it's made out of sunshines. I think they just took the brush and just. (laughs) Well, once I knew you did it, it looked like sunshine to me. (laughs) There you go. Uh, new vlog out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's right. The paintball vlog is out. It's alive. It's in full effect. Great times. I got to tell you, great times with the pals. Uh, it's amazing. I'm not going to give too much away, but if you like seeing people get shot in their bare butt cheeks with paintballs, you're going to love this vlog. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. You'll love the way it looks. If you want to see a, 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 a vlog or a vlog, a paintball, shoot a white shoebox covered by clothes, then you want to tune in right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's what you're going to see at the end. Oh God! It's it's it's, beautiful. and then you also see a beer bear a beers a bears a bearded bear a bears as wig get peeled. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it gets peeled the all the way back. It just parted. I'm well, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're saying, "Fuck, man, we were without a vlog for a little bit there." You know, we were missing them. We were missing the boys. Yeah. Well, we're not stopping, baby, because a new vlog is dropping this week. Yeah. When? What? I Man. think Thursday. What? Saturday Thursday, to Thursday? That's not even a week. That's not even a week. Wow. We're playing catch up, baby. We're playing catch up. Motherfuckers thought we were sleeping, but we we're actually filming. Do I look sleepy? No, you look wide, wide, wide awake. Looks like you've been railing coke up your ass. That's how awake I am. This Thursday, new vlog goes down. Yes, it's a little bit of disc golf, frisbee golf, whatever you kids want to call it, but there's a very special stipulation in this that you do not want to miss that I'm telling you right now, we are changing the game of disc golf. Yeah. And after this vlog drops, mark my words, this is how it will be played yeah. moving forward for everybody <coughs> at every park across America. This is, this is difficult, di- difficult disc golf. How do you say disc golf ten times fast? Disc golf, disc golf, disc golf, disc golf, disc golf, disc golf, disc golf. See? Boom. Eric Bischoff, you know Eric Bischoff. The Biscoff cookies on the... Biscoff, Bischoff, disc golf. What else? Disco duck. Rick D's. Disco. Disco duck. Disco. Disco duck. There's no way you'd remember Disco duck. I don't remember shit You remember. Man, he knows Disco duck. That's why he's fucking laughing over there. Disco. <laughs> Disco Disco Duck It was a DJ, radio DJ called Rick D's Not Rick D's Nuts just nah, Rick D's. I was going to say it I'm sure he's heard it a billion times by now But but uh, I'd use that if I was him mm-hmm. Rick D's Nuts But uh, <laughs> Anyhow, he, would, uh, he did a song called Disco Duck And he talked like Donald Duck But it wasn't supposed to be Donald Duck But it actually hit in the 80s Believe it or not Popped it was, off like that It was on the pop charts 100% it was I'll be a see what see what that made it to. See what the t- disco duck made it to on the charts. God, I'm just digging in my nuts so fucking hard. They call or... me the, the nut digger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see what that charted. <laughs> Did it chart at all? It had to have, right? Yeah, on the Billboard Hot 100. Whoa! What did it? What did it go? It peaked at number one. Oh, wow. What? I told you it was hitting. Yeah. On October 16, okay. 1976, for one whole now, week. Now, look, I was two years and uh, two days old at that point. Two years and wow. two days old. My birthday's October 14th. You, that's your first memory on this planet. Yes, that's how I knew it was a bona fide hit. That's what I was born to was that Did song. you know there was two parts? Uh, oh. Side A, Disco Duck, part. No, I didn't know it was a second. But mm. I probably did if I heard, because that's all my cousins would play was that song on the record player. For like ever was Disco Duck, but I didn't hear it when I was two. I think I was more familiar with it when I was around five ish, because it was still hitting. Oh, it's, you know, timeless just, song. Number one. I can't believe Come that. On, you don't just one. get rid of that. I can't, but well, I didn't, didn't. I knew it was big, but I know I hit number fucking one. Rick Dees was a huge DJ. He was like the Wolfman Jack. You never heard of oh, Wolfman oh, Jack? Yeah. Wow, oh, we man. are old yeah. of our time. Fuck, yeah. it was like that was like the Mel Elvira kind of. 
Like but he was supposed to be from like the crew? Happy Days times. He was a radio DJ. Ah, it's Wolfman Jack. All right. Look <laughs> at Wolfman Jack. Right. Now Google Wolfman he Jack. Like Casey Kasem. You know. He was a radio yeah, personality that was fucking mad. Like he was syndicated. Yeah. So and when you were syndicated in the eighties, you were a fucking megastar. If you were yeah. syndicated, oh. yeah, Wolfman Jack. Yeah. There he is. But yeah. Ow! Look at him on the second one. Ow! Wolfman Jack. Yeah. But so he was on the. Why would he get all dressed up if like nobody? Because he was a character. Stuff, up, because though. he would make appearances. They'd have him in commercials. And you don't think he did that every day in the studio though? Get all done up like that. Though. Why wouldn't he? If I was him, I would. <laughs> Fucking yeah, people would go up Wolfman there and take Jack. Oh, I was like, you that? know where he you fucked like up though. Him work like that? I'm gonna tell you where Wolfman Jack fucked up. He should have really did his. Well, his name is Wolfman. You thought he would have did his fucking homework. His fangs should be coming from the bottom, like a fucking Wolfman. True. That's a vampire. That's vampire yeah. man Jack, not Wolfman. That's Jack. Vamp Jack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jack Vamp. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> um. Wow, that was. What a great segment on the news. Oh, obviously, he was in American Graffiti. Ron Howard was in that. All right. You know who Ron directed Howard, that? Ron Howard the Duck? You, you know who def- uh, defeated that? You know, you know who directed? <laughs> Ron Howard. Yeah. No. George Wait. Lucas. The Star Wars. Yep. That was a big movie before Star Wars. Was Howard the Duck. That was his second movie after the, that was Howard the Duck. I told you. Mm-hmm. All right. Shaggythecreepshop.com, baby. I'm telling you right now, we dropped so much fucking flavor. Oh, one more thing. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say this because it's not every day you hear this. Uh, Creep from Outer Space, your uh, doppelganger, mm-hmm. says, Is that him, goon? Riff, baby? No, that was Arthur Penthollow. They went, Baby! On Riff. We're the, giving away to Maui. Yeah, mm. baby. That was his big thing. But he tried to, I think he ripped his gimmick off a little bit, obviously. But his name was Arthur Penthollow. Penthollow or Arthur Penthollow. Penthollow? I think he's uh, retired now, but yeah, mm-hmm. he was like the voice of the biggest rock station in Detroit that has been for like, yeah. I think the 70s. They're the, I think they're the only they're ones still left standing. Yeah, well, no, Wheels came back. W-L-Z oh, that's came right. Yeah. Wheels. But yeah, like uh, he, that Arthur Penthollow guy ran that shit. Fucking hey, Ar- how shot of Arthur Penthollow. Yeah. Um, Shaggy and the Creep Shop. Arthur dot Penthollow. Norman Penthollow. Oh, fuck. Go ahead. My bad. Shaggyandthecreepshop.com. Season one and two character t-shirts are now available. They look great. How good did they look? I don't know. Yeah, how good did they look? You fucking tell me. Well, I want one to wear. Well, put it on. Well, not right now. Who's stopping you from wearing it? I need something to wear on the next stream. I'll be wearing this in the next stream. You got the Ben Aminorphs. I like Ben Aminorphs. I got fucking cool guys. I like the mid-Ben Aminorph. Oh, he's my favorite. Mid change, mid Ben. Go from fucking what is that Dunkin' Donuts to iguana? <laughs> Dunk- you gotta stop. Iguana to a Dunkin' Donuts employee. You gotta stop somewhere well, in the it middle. It starts there and goes that way, right? It doesn't go backwards. That's why I was yeah. pitching it. So it goes do do do, right? Well, I guess he starts off as a human. Oh, or, you thought it goes backwards? He's gotta go back. He's got it. Well, it goes back and forth because he when changes very first, but. When you look at this, what do you see him changing into a guan or changing into a uh, the Dunkin' Donuts? The guy? way it's laid out, I would assume the animal, but I thought wow. I thought people starts started off. I thought they started off as a person. But do you get from this that he starts off a person or an animal? You it's kind of like what came kinda... first, chicken or the egg, right? No, because there's like lines like shooting out the I, backs. Yeah, I would say it starts off as Ben, turns into the iguana. It's the opposite. That's how it's so Wow, we all learned something turning into today. Ben. I'll tell you what, you can buy that shirt and because have that's this how discussion they get with your family members as well. <laughs> We also got fucking uh, jerseys. New jerseys. <laughs> Get up, stand up, and spin around for the fine people. Oh, huh? Spin really around for. Spin. Yeah, no problem walking in the bathroom. And then he went like this. Yeah, fuck you. You got to sell it, dude. You look frumpy. God, my fucking <laughs> knee is like. I feel like my. Knee I'm not asking you to lift your legs up. Just you spin around, spin. pair away. You want me to hold your hand like a little dancer? I can't walk on my fucking legs. Dog, turn. You can turn around. All right, look at the back of these jerseys we got. Wow! Look, are you kidding me? I'm happy and I'm not going to be able to walk. Later. It's like a half sobriety I test like right I'm, there. I feel like I'm uh, uh, in a character lobby. Man, doesn't he you look good? Like fucking 15 times? Let, you fucking hear that? You should have sat down before you got all crazy with it. Fuck! The only thing popping is that dope-ass jersey. Ow! Ow! DJ Wolfenstein, 105.3. Fuck. 
What's his name? <laughs> DJ Wolfenstein. I just see his on. picture on the screen. <laughs> I can't okay. shake it. Okay, there's not a wolf or Frankenstein. It's clearly a vampire. <laughs> DJ Wolfenstein. <laughs> like we're just seeing that guy with nothing that's DJ Wolfenstein. <laughs> I fucking forgot the name, but I'll tell you what, man. Wolfman Jack. Not just jerseys and shirts. We dropped those fucking fly ass swim trunks. Yeah. The first of many. Everybody that is loves right. Them. Dude, they are flying off the shelves. We can't keep them in. There is the hottest swim trunks will be coming your way. We're kicking it off to celebrate the season two drop with the season two boys. I'm telling you right now, you're not going to look better. No, you're you not. We guarantee it. Check out the fucking Shaggy and Creep Instagram page. You can see those bad lads on his milky smooth legs. Yeah, that's right. And I'm telling you what. Would you say about the what? Check out what and see it. Our Instagram. Oh, we posted a photo. Me and you flexing the new merch. I know. I've seen it. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't hear what you said. Right. But when you saw it, what did you say? I was like, ooh. <laughs> you didn't go. Mm. No. Ooh. Ooh. No, I didn't bring it up. I don't know how to do it like mid range. Like, ooh. You just did it. That still like, sounds like I'm doing it baby. like that. Ooh. Ooh. Drop it down. Ooh. 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 You'll be howling too, man. You do it like this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> See, you know it's fun. Ooh. <laughs> You'll be doing all that when you put those swim trunks on. Imagine. Did you wear those in the swimming pool today? No. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't wear any swimsuit. Oh, I was he naked. took them off. He was, I he just, was doing a naked flow. Let me put it this way. I started in them, and I just was feeling myself, so I took them off. In the no, not, not physical. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Like, I was Whoa. feeling myself. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, it's nice. Uh, I'm feeling, feeling you know, his I'm feeling, aura. I'm feeling today. Yeah. So he didn't need them. Sun's out, bun's out. Plus, I wanted to put them on the edge so everybody that came over could see them. Well, you live on the edge. I know. So why not put the bathing suit My name there? is fucking Aerosmith. Okay. Uh, Shaggyinthecreepshop.com. More summer fucking flavor. We'll be smacking you upside the head very shortly, but we want to make sure that you get your summer of fun, a.k.a. your fummer, off to a red-hot start. And you know the good part what is... better way? You don't have to go jumping and swimming at the lake or in the pool in these. You could put these on just to run through the sprinkler. Just wear them as shorts. You could just or, do that. I wear them, I wear my shit just as you shorts. Do, and you know what? You can. You want to know why? Because there's fucking pockets in That's there. That's what I'm saying. We got ow, ow. pockets is in our pants. Yo, I he's always he's in, in our pants. pants. Hey, so I was gonna say this. I had a good segue. Oh, what's a good place or that you could wear these? To shaggingthecreepshop.com. That. Well, to the gathering. Or to the a. F- the, to I the Tom Woods float. To the float. That too. <laughs> wow, how much more shit can we plug? <laughs> you wear them everywhere. Fuck it. Or to... They sound pretty universal. I can't I see know. your mouth. Do your mouth. Yeah, I can't again. see your mouth over the monitor. Oh, am I supposed to be doing that? What are you doing, you? Oh! oh! Yeah. I was saving that so you came out and you're out now. So yeah. yes, this is very true. <laughs> Breaking news coming in right now. You guys have been asking for it. You said, damn it. What's a good way to have some summer fun with your pals? We just can't quite wrap our head around what to do this summer. Yeah, what the fuck? There's, there's got to be something. There, there, the pal cast is a very fun thing to do. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Like swimming at, at, at like your homies' pools and shit. That's pretty fun to do. Yeah, you know. But like, what if you laughing and having fun? That's that's a cool thing to do. What if you brought them uh, together? I think if it's with your pals. Are you talking about the pal party part two? Pal pool, pool party. party? The what? Pals pool party part Going two? down, baby. It's coming back, what? Jack. It's coming back. And it's coming back bigger than ever. It's going to be just picture <laughs> how it was last year. No then shit. Then picture Pac rolling. No shit. Come back and picture this. No shit. I was just scoping out how we could do it today mm-hmm. in a better spot and like with like some techniques that we... It's going to be... Spectacle. Oh, it's going to be. I, I mean, d- that's lack of better words. It's going to be beyond a spectacle. I just right can't now? think of nothing ripping my head. The Pal Cast Pool Party Part 2 will be going down. You've seen it right there. It's I be- I can't see it, but I believe it's Friday, July 8th. Yep. Is that the date? All right. It's a Friday night pool party. Oh! oh. Getting down on a Friday. What better day for a party than Friday? Starting the weekend off right. 
It's just going to be magical. It'll be majestical. And you better be there. Because when did we say that was? Friday, July 8th. That's right. Look at the flyer. No, no, I know. We'll, no, no, no. It's what we'll tell them. Oh. Yeah, you look at the flyer. We know what it is. I wanted to make sure right. it brought back. And he up. might be, depending on the weather, he might be floating around that pool with his fucking buns out again. Well, see, the last pool party took place in April, early May. So it wasn't warm outside that much. And the water was freezing and dirty because we had yeah. just opened the pool up, I think, earlier that day. A lot day of worms in the bottom. Yeah, there was that. a lot of dirt and worms and yeah. leaves settled in the bottom. This year. Dude, your pool, it looks like a brand new pool. It's got the heater. It's warm. It's fucking been record heats. We're doing a smack dead beginning of the summer this time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be I'll done tell right. You what? We're going to have We some... might have a live barbecue on there. Look, just be there. All right? It's going to be a good time. You don't want to miss it. Let's get the summer of fun, a.k.a. our fummer, off to a hot start. It's going to be fantastic. Um, I'm going to toss it over to a comrade of mine because uh, he's got a little bit of news that he wants to drop on your guys' fucking face. Uh, oh, you're coming this way, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The camera died on us. We probably should put this bad lad over your shoulder. You yes, know what I'm oh, you bad ladded it up today. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, where's that man. Where's that uh, tan boy? You threw it away finally? No. That's is... Manny's news jacket. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. What the fuck the matter with you? You don't want to fuck that one up, do you? That's why I said put it over your shoulder. Oh. But here you go. Come in hot. There you go. At least you get like semi put that one a little better, right? Oh my god, the bugs! Ow! Are right. What? Josh got the bug. Oh, he got the bug. Are you scared it's about bugs? Alive. He freaked out. Just a male mosquito. Oh, those big boys. Yeah. yeah those ones don't even bite. Pants. No. Those ones eat the bitches after they fuck them. They're praying mantis, I think. I feel bad. I saved it earlier. Wait, that would make no it. sense for the males to eat the male if they oh fuck them, because then their kids wouldn't carry on nowhere. Damn, this is your guys' setup. I'm like watching over here, and uh, fuck, I'm supposed to be paying attention. Touch the camera real quick. What's it going on? Right oh gosh, damn it! What? Dang, <laughs> it's frozen. Oh my god. Oh, it froze on it. That's really Keegan. Don't let him fool you. How the here, fuck did you get over me, there? There. Let me try I'm something. Magical. He's trying something. What are you doing? Try something real quick. I'll get you Keegan doing? in the shot. No, no, no. It's all right. We'll just cut to Manny. It's cool. We'll just. What are you trying? Oh, you're trying to fix the yeah, camera. Yeah, we're gonna see if it froze. It's live oh. technical difficulties. I feel like somebody stabbed me in the brain right here with a knitting needle. It's live, guys. It's oh, live. how you doing, Manny Cam? Right. Manny and Josh Cam behind the scenes production exclusive just for you guys because we love yeah. you. Now, what's this? Back to Manny with the news. This is Manny with the news, and check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, you didn't let this the intro, Manny, bro. Oh. Who Let's are do you? It right. I'm Manny, and, and this is news. <laughs> Yes, just like McChicken. <laughs> McChicken for everybody. So, so check it out, ladies and gentlemen. We, you know, you got a hot summer going on. The boys are doing their best to keep everybody happy. They got a lot going on. But one of the biggest things that's going on this summer, and we talked talked about it before, was the gathering of the Juggalos. The Hatchet Man will be flying. Coming up in about less than 40 days, a little bit more than 40 days. But a lot of people were wondering about the stipulation. The stipulation was you were supposed to listen to Talks Hit the next day at 12 p.m. to find out what's going on. But we understand a lot of people were busy and they didn't understand and they didn't get a chance to get the stipulation. Uh, so here we are. We're breaking it out today. And uh, my boy right here is going to show you an example me? Yes. I oh, believe. No, no, I don't. I'll go suck it. Oh, okay. No, my boy down here, he's coming. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. Whoa. Yeah, somebody's already ready for a Whoa, promo. Somebody's, re like somebody's ready to uh, sit there and go ahead, do your oh, thing, that's brother. Hold on, hold on. What do they got to do? What do they got to do? You got to cut a promo. Oh, you yeah. got to just cut Did a promo. Did you say that already? No, I'm a, you're going to show them what they got to do. What? You got to cut a promo I'm on, on Manny, who was Alcatraz. You just got to cut a promo. You got to send this in. You got to look at Manny. You're wrestling you him say, at the, at Hey, the, Manny. Hey, Manny. Come strangle Mania. It's going to be you in the ring, Wed. Kicking ass, Wed. I'm going to take my size 14 boot, Wed. Put it right up your ass. Because I'm going to give you a stone cold stinger, Wed. Hold on. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh shit! Oh, oh shit! shit. He's, he's coming out with some <laughs> some weapons. Damn! Stone Cold ran yeah. off. Was he coming Stay back? Oh, he's going to get the it's Stone Cold beers. beers. Uh oh! Oh Why shit! Oh oh! What's oh, up? This kind of... is Stone Cold beer. Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna open up a cane onions. Size one of your beers. Is that whoop uh -oh. ass? 
Yeah, is that a can of whoop My dad's like Budweiser, but they're mad warm. You want some? No, that's whoop ass. <laughs> this is a can of whoop ass. And I'll see you at Strangle Mania inside a squared circle. Just me, you, one of these, and two of these. And that's a fine land, because I said so. Whoa. And that's how you can get a Whoa. ticket to this year's Gathering of the Dreams. Whoa. Featuring t- uh, the Talks It podcast. Exactly. Is that is that the promo chair? Do I got to sit over there for the promo? You want no, to cut, yeah, you, you, it. it, it's, up, it's right, totally yeah, up to you. Right. All right, hold up. We got another one to show you another way that you can do this. Right. But like I says, ladies and gentlemen, thirty minute, thirty seconds to one minute, it doesn't matter. Audio, video, my boy's gonna show you how to do it. You ready? <sighs> oh. Alcatraz, when the skies open up over Thornville, the mountains will crumble into a pit formed only by the lava pouring from the hell that is the sun through the clouds, through the floor into the middle of the JCW ring, Alcatraz. (sighs) Alcatraz, when I come out of that fiery pit and I see you in that corner, brother, I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna send you back to rock. I'm done. I'm about to pass out. <laughs> you were doing that thing where you're I was trying. I was trying to be. Wow, I got a real head rush. Something like that. Holy shit! I was trying to do all the big warrior stuff. Dude, I was ready to fight after hearing that. I, you see me come out of there, dude? I had my fucking fist up. I said, "Who's getting their ass beat right, right now?" I was like, I, I was oh. like, "Is that Ultimate Warrior?" But I'm hearing shades of Hulk Hogan at the same time <laughs> yeah, was, as well. It was like the a ultimate lot of Hogan. parts unknown with a lot of brothers. The Ultimate Hulkster. <laughs> Oh my god But check it out Ladies and gentlemen It's oh, just my, that fun hurt my neck. Ooh, We gotta make sure You're alright Oh Hey but check it out Ladies and gentlemen It's just that fun That's what we want You guys to do man We want you to have fun With it So the catch is You do a wrestling promo In a dream match At this year's gathering At JCW Versus Alcatraz 187 and you can do it all audio, you can do it video, but this is what you got to do. You got to turn it in by the end of this week because this has been going on and we've already got some good ones turned in, but we needed to go to talk.s.hit.pd at gmail.com and check it out. We're going to put it in the description at the pa- at the bottom of the pale cast. And it's in the chat right now. And it's in the chat right now. Oh, yes. I see it. Yes. All you got to do is send it, send your audio or your video to that right there, and you get a chance to win a ticket to the Gathering of the Juggalos this year by your boys from Talks Hit. And of course, man, always by the support of your boys over here at the Palecast, man. We appreciate it. The boys are going to be in the house. Talks Hits going to be in the house out there. So you go to Thornville, you're going to have a great time, man. You never know, man. Like I says, we got a little bit of everything in the house that day, that weekend. It's going to be a surefire hell time, baby. That's Manny, and that was the news. <laughs> You just like fuck. I'm just keeping it. Now you feel comfortable. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, right? dude. Now I got a beer. Is that a good one? Or is <laughs> I got that a buzz the, going. Is that like the cheap boy? <laughs> you tell that's me. A, that's like a real leather one, ain't it? Fucking thirty bucks. It's fucking nuts so, on you. You tell me. <laughs> I mean, look at the back of that. You don't oh, oh wow! <laughs> it looks like the back of a fucking like a suit child's vest. cape. Like a vest has the, like the different back. So you it tell me. Flaming skull on the back. You don't got none of that. No, I'm not the springing for that. Got a the buttons are good, though. Oh, well, that's the part that's in the pleather. This is it like those biker no bras. Or, no, this is tight. Stand up and button it. Let's see. Fuck, I don't want to. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. No, it is a top boy. Was it corset? Oh, yeah. Push your titties oh, yeah. up. That's what those Renaissance bras be wearing. It's not that bad. 
No, it looks but Steve unbuttoned his. Still gonna need Dude, I kind of look pretty good though. I know, but you're gonna need your news jacket too, though. Can you bust out of it? Yeah, you can't oh. hold him in no cage. Yeah. Oh, damn. By the way, God. that fucking counted uh, is my submission. So I am. Oh. Yeah, that counted as mine, too. Yeah, we're just as legally able to win as this all you guys. So Where's legal tender? This is true. I didn't just do that for an example. I did that to get a ticket. Exactly. So, truck you got to beat that. Uh, and that's pretty good. We covered everything, baby. That's a lot of news. A lot of news uh, hitting you real fast. And uh, I am Keegan the Creep. Let's see if I can bust out of it. And this was the news. <laughs> Not even close. Not even close. I thought it was a lot tighter. <laughs> oh, that that was so bad, that. dude. Like not a replay in the monitor, but like, like a right replay here. in my eyes of watching that from here. From this angle, that's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that was <laughs> the biggest <laughs> fail. You were just like. I was trying to move everything, push my stomach out. I watched from, like, fucking, couldn't have better seats to watch it from. Like, fuck, I seen it, like, Damn. I seen it probably better than you. Well, I did see it better than you did. You wow. Did the poop. Oh, the fuck. Oh, yeah, where'd your banner go? We washed it. You washed it? Yeah, it got washed. And then Josh pushed the table back. Did I just say wash? I said wash. No, did I say wash? No, no, no. You okay, because usually I do say wash, and you said it, and... So yeah, I don't know. I just said it. Why? Spit. Why did you wash it for? <laughs> Needed a washing. Spin, wait, is that dusty? Yeah, it was dusty. It was wrinkly, man. Yeah, it was wrinkly. Oh, you know was, what dust is, right? It's skin flakes. It's, it, oh, so gross. <laughs> Isn't that weird? You want to hear the grossest thing ever? Mm-hmm. The fucking gross. My uncle Dick. All right, we've yeah, Papa Dick. I know. Grandpa Dick. Oh, Grandpa Dick. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't call nobody Papa. No, it was Papa Dick. I don't know. Papa Dick. Papa look, Dick. Look, I'm gonna spin this. And it's gonna keep my story. Fucking straight and narrow. I'm not going to veer off, okay? okay? I need one of these for real. You got one. You just pulled the whole fucking table over, Fuck. with you? I know. You put that stone cold vest on. Holy I shit. cut the promo. You see me rip that mic out of the table? <clears throat> All right. So anyhow, when I lived, my Uncle Dick, okay, let me set this up. My Uncle Dick was a truck driver. Uh, he was a fucking, like, Level fucking one million alcoholic. Okay. Great, which is great, great if you're a truck driver. Great career have to have. You know, he was such a truck driver. He used to get those little green stamps and shit. You get, yeah. I, I don't even know what the fuck they are now. They made sense like when punch I was a kid. cards, like when you get a free sub. But only truckers get them or something. Gotcha. You could buy like real things with these green trucker stamps. I, I'm sure people in the chat that have had like trucker people in their wow. family know what I'm talking about. But I, I don't even know if they do it anymore. It's uh-huh. old school shit. But uh, anyhow, so uh, and he already had. The most scantless case of psoriasis ever. Mm. You know, like my elbows? Yeah. But it was everywhere. He had like get patches on his forehead, all that shit. But due to his drinking, it made it a billion times worse. So it was like fucking, it was like body danger. It's constantly falling off him. Kind of like scabby dick. Like if he turned, it'd probably be like, <laughs> like shit would cloud off him a little bit. Wow. It was bad. Yeah. Like, okay, so now he lived with my grandma because he was an alcoholic. His voice <laughs> left him, he <laughs> kicked him out. You know what I'm saying? I think he was out of his job, of course, because, you know. Everybody lives with their grandma. <laughs> no, Uncle Dick fuck. was known to my family as, like, the fuck yeah. up. You know, yeah. he's the fuck right. up. Right, everybody. You don't want to be like Uncle him. Dick. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But I always thought he was entertaining yeah. as fuck. You know, yeah. I thought it was funny as hell because mm-hmm. he's just a piece of shit, I guess. Yeah. But anyhow, <laughs> he had people that loved him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about <laughs> right. I fucking loved him, I think. But <laughs> I don't remember if I did or not. I don't fucking know. It was a while back. But anyhow, uh. So he lived with my grandma in uh so my grandma's house is always like it was just always like oh fuck. Cause Uncle and this I'm talking about I was a kid. Right. As a youngster, youngster, you know what I'm saying? And uh so when I was a kid, I had to live with my grandma. My Uncle Dick still lived there. And check this out. This man, you think your farts are rootless? This guy I don't look, think they are. Mine. No, as a child, they were terrifying. Check this out. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we slept upstairs, right? Like my grandma lived in like one of those World War II kit houses, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh so it's just like a it was had a weird upstairs, you know what I'm saying? It had like you come up the stairs and then you come around and there's a bedroom and then you go through that door and there was another bedroom, so it was like two bedrooms, mm-hmm. but you had to cut through one bedroom to get to the other. Anyhow, my uncle Dick slept in the further bedroom and me and right. my brother slept in the closer one, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, <laughs> so he had to walk through your room and get to his. Yeah, so he'd always like come through in his oh, socks yeah. up. 
the, the most big feel for thing we ever had was Uncle Dick's socks because he always had blood spots in them and shit from <laughs> the psoriasis scabs. Yeah. Oh no, dog! If we'd always like be like, oh, don't eat. We were scared to eat cereal just because the thought of it was so gross because of the skin flakes. Every, they were everywhere, and dog, he would fart so motherfucking loud at nighttime when he like stumble up to bed. <laughs> He'd always go to bed after we were in bed. I know that. And it'd be dark as shit. And we'd just see Uncle Dick fucking scuffle across the floor, going to his room. You just hear, ah. I can't even do it because I had to like, pinch my lips to be that loud. So he's just like, no shit. Like, <laughs> like I, but it was deeper. Like, I can't even do it that loud, dog. And I'm not, it wasn't a little kid exaggerating type shit. It used to terrify me and my brother every night we'd go to sleep. We'd be terrified. Of what would come out he of that room. Of we thought he was dying every night. But it was his ass cutting loose, dog. We really thought he was going to be dead in the morning some mornings, dog. And uh, I was just surprised to remind me of that. So anyhow, yeah, Uncle Dick. <laughs> he had some big dick farts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, they came out of his dick. Maybe that's why they're so loud. Oh, no, it's just it's a like dick a balloon, fart. Like, <laughs> it's like a big, yeah, big loose pee hole. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a dick fart. I've had a pretty fucking entertaining life. Yeah. <laughs> well, not, it wasn't entertaining at the point, but uh, at the time, but yeah. Well, what do you say? Maybe we look at a couple of these super chats after that lovely story, and yeah. Oh, there's a couple more. Yeah, I think gonna, they came in right. They came in hot. Yeah, there's a few. Let me get get a fly get... three one three is your first one. I see it. Get a fly. Shout out to get a fly three one three. Uh, you come a juggalo. Can you come a juggalo and? Kachina, Elliot, get an eight-year and uh, eight-year happy anniversary. Whoop whoop! Much motherfucking we uh, climb big fat ass eight-year anniversary. Woo! To Ooh. fuck eight to years. Yakama Juggalo and Kachina, Ellie. Oh yes. yes, eight years. Eight years. How long have you been married for? Fucking five. Uh, no, good for you. I'm going on nine. Nine years married yeah. to the game. How many to the, oh, to the game. love of your life? Oh. Since birth. Jeff Feel. Jeff Feel. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> Salty Baggins. Three month prescription. Come. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you finish reading this, this message will self destruct. No, it won't. It didn't. See it together. That flopped because mm. your message did not self destruct. Lock of. What up? Just says the computer says work. Literally, it's L K A H D V D G D H J K S H D. Now say it. Right. See, I said it, say it word for word. It just says a computer, laptop open, and the screen says work. Work. That's all we do, baby. I know. That's all we do is work. Noxie Osborne says, now that uh, now that what's in Shaggy's bag is over for now, we need his greatest hits compilation video. Get to work, Josh. Ooh. JK. Mm. Much kind of love to everybody. Much pa- much pal love, much clown love. Wait, wait. I don't know if it's wait. 1023 Entertainment or 1023 Entertainment. Either way. It says, hey, Shaggy. Can't wait to see you at the Blue Ridge Rock Festival. Hope I get a chance to meet you. Huge part of my childhood. Well, you're a huge part of mine as well. Mm-hmm. So thank, thank you for that. <laughs> Came up with you. <coughs> Jennifer Johnson. New pal of Mmm. <gasps> Did you just give up doing them? Well, no, I just I was kind of waiting for you. Oh, we're not, yeah, that's why I was, I was holding it. To watch the majestic. King Fuck, you don't want to hold that in too long. I know it can hurt. <laughs> Fuck, I know. It's like holding too. in a dick fart. He's got to do two now. What? Oh yeah, you got to get to do. We back don't to back. have to play. Oh, yeah, we have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Phil D. Roll. Hey, you cool fucks. K- What's good, dude? C O O L F. K-U-K-S. Cool Fox. Cool Fox. So he he found a way around the system. I like yeah. it, dude. Ingenuity. It's my B-Day shortly. Whoop, whoop. Happy B-Day whenever it is because you didn't tell us. Do you mean butthole day? Born out the butthole? You usually say B-hole. You don't say B for butthole. Why'd, right? the, why'd the fluff come off, man? Did you get a little too... The fluff? I don't, I don't know. I think so. I, I think you scared me, bro. <laughs> You scared me. <laughs> There's your two, Josh. Yeah. You happy? Wow. What a day. What a night. What a night. What an evening. We're back, baby. We were never. We were gone. gone. We, we, just were. we were. Because we, we were working. We were, we were working. We were putting in stuff. work. But it's a we're lot not, of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. We're not Frankie 
Steeler in or whatever the fuck his name is from Aerosmith. We're not back. Steel Diver. Steel Diver. We're not back. Back. We're back. All right. I'm kicking the shit hound. And I'm Shaggy too. 